Hey everyone, Stobbles here. I'd like to show you the full movie of how I created this Minecraft world. This is a relaxing hardcore series with a mysterious storyline progressing through all the episodes, so stick around for the big reveal and twist at the end of the movie. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on? And what is this place? What? I wouldn't let somebody destroy my home. And what am I supposed to do now? Whoa, this place has been totally destroyed. I don't know. He says it's my home, but I've no memory of this place. But it does look like something terrible happened. This place gives me weird vibes, but it is beautiful. I think until I get my memory back, I'm just going to lay low for a little while. Maybe it is a good idea if I settle down here. And if someone's recently attacked, surely that means they're not coming back, right? And maybe I do owe this guy something. He's clearly looked after me and nursed me back to health. Okay, the sun's gonna start going down soon, so I best get some survival gear. I'm gonna start by punching this tree and grab ourselves a crafting table. Not gonna get far without one of those. And make some basic wooden tools. I think I'll just start with a pickaxe. Ooh, that looks scary, but I do see some stone. And our first stone of the world. You do love to see it. Okay, time to get some upgrades. We don't really know what dangers are lurking around here either, so let's get geared up. Now, I do love birch wood, but I don't think I want to build a house out of it. So what we'll do is we'll grab some essentials, and then I think we'll explore the area, see what other biomes we can find. We also don't want to stray too far from the camp. This is a totally new area, and I'm scared to get lost. We also want to make sure we don't get caught in the wilderness without any food. It does look like there's some remnants of an old farming area here. Maybe we can get this patched up and running again. Couldn't find many seeds, but we did get one, so it's better than nothing. And we've even got a friendly bee here, so maybe he'll help pollinate this area. Okay, there you go. Better than nothing. I think for the time being, we're better off just hunting some animals. Whoa, we do not want to go down there. Oh, is that a lush cave? That's a lush cave. Maybe we do want to go down there. Not yet, though. I don't think we're ready for that. But on the plus side, we did find some coal. I'll take it. That'll get our food cooked nicely. We are getting low on hunger too. I really need to stop jumping around so much. And we've just run out. Okay. Made a little survival area by the village. He's going to sleep. Let's get some food in the oven and head to bed. Sorry, sir. He'll have to move. Well, this is awkward. It's a brand new day. We've got the food cooking. Looks like it's done. I'm going to maybe chuck some birch logs in here too. Get some charcoal on the go. This guy keeps looking at me funny. Oh, there we go. He's gone. Nope, he's back. What do you want? Do you want a steak? You're not getting a steak. You can have a, you can have a raw pork chop. No, nope, all right. I'll have it back. I'm going to bring this furnace with me. And I think we'll head this way. I do want to build a house here. Haven't quite picked a spot yet, but I know I don't want to build the whole thing out of birch wood. So let's head this direction. Hopefully find some spruce wood and maybe some dark oak as well. That would be nice. Let's see what we get. Okay, it's not spruce, but we've got a few oak trees around here, which we didn't have to walk too far. The village is only over there. So let me grab these while we're here, and we'll keep looking for some spruce. Can we maybe grab one sapling? If I can get one sapling, I'll be happy. Oh, I see one. There we go. Unlimited awkward achieved. Not bad. Okay, now if we can maybe just find some spruce. Um, I'm going to go this way for a little while. So I've just come out the forest from over there, and over this hill looks like a giant spruce tree, right? Oh, a horse. Okay, we'll get a saddle and maybe come back for you. If I can remember where you are. Yep. Okay, looks like we made it. I don't care too much about bringing loads of wood back right now. So I'm just going to try and get some saplings and call it a day. Nice. Looks like this one dropped a few. Okay, next on the list is a dark oak wood. Oh man, we've got really lucky with this world. We've got so many good biomes within such a short distance. Okay, same again. Grabbing some saplings, then getting out of here. I'm always scared of creepers popping up in these things. Ooh, there's some extra stakes, though. These trees are huge. I think I'm just going to get on top of one and hit the leaves instead. I don't really want to be hanging around in the dark down here. Then we can just grow them back at the village. Okay, this should do. I do want eight of these, at least. Dark oak trees have always been a bit notorious for not giving them any saplings. Oh, and that's eight. Oh, and nine. Okay, great. Let's head home. Which is that way? Maybe. Okay, this is looking about right. I think it's just over this hill. Yep, there we go. Okay, it looks like we've still got a bit of a food shortage, but I'm sure that'll grow with us in the area some more. That guy's climbing a... Okay, yep, okay. 
I'd like to get these saplings planted so we can start collecting loads of wood for our new home. And I think I'm just going to put them... I'm going to put them here. I'd also like to make a chest just so we can dump all of our new belongings in. There we go. We can organise it later. I will definitely 100% organise it later. Excuse me. Oh. This is awkward. Transforming this village is not going to be an easy task. I think we'll just have to tackle one building at a time. I do want to pick a nice spot for my home though, and I think this part at the top will give us a nice look onto the rest of the village once it's all built up. Yeah, let's start by cleaning this area up. I'm just going to tear down the old building and start completely from scratch. You know what? This place is looking better already. Just going to clean the floor up here too. Although we don't have any stone, so cobble will just have to do for now. I think I'm actually going to have to pull this whole area forward. Maybe that's a good cue for our first mining trip. I did see a big cave opening over there as well. Let me grab some essentials and I'll be on my way. I want to make a bunch of charcoal first, just for our torches. We're getting there. Okay, we've got 15 bits of charcoal. I'm just going to turn them all into torches. We've got nearly a full stack now. I'm sure we'll find some coal when we're down there too. Okay, I would say we are ready to go. I'm going to head this way, see if we can find that cave entrance again. Okay, here we are. I wonder, is there a safe way down? What about that? That looks better. Okay, careful. Careful. Oh, that's a big drop. Okay, I can see some coal. I'm really here for some iron. If we can get some iron, I'll be happy. Okay, there really doesn't seem like a safe way down here, so I think I'm just going to have to dig until we get closer to the bottom. Oh! Oh, this makes me nervous. Okay, we're getting closer. I would feel a lot better if we had a shield right now. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, we've got a spawner. Little bit dangerous though, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna rush it. Ugh, zombies. Okay, let's get this place lit up properly, I think. I think we're safe. Make sure no creepers sneak up on us. Oh, iron. Nice. That's what we want. That's what we want. Oh, no! Go away. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, one piece, really? Okay, I'll take it. It's a shovel. Right, let's see what we got. Oh! No, where? And we got a mending book. Bruh. Bruh. Hit the string. Gunpowder. Wheat. Okay. Nice. You know what? Time's tough. We're still in the early game. I'm going to take these chests. Okay, well that went a lot better than I expected. But we still need iron. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going down there. Oh man, this thing's waiting down there for us. I don't know about that. I really don't. Ooh, hello. Oh, this is, oh, this is perfect. Iron. Iron. More iron. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, he's got a friend. Yeah, maybe sometimes it's easier to just let these guys blow themselves up, you know? Easy. Easy. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Okay, I think we're good. I keep thinking I hear noises. Oh, wow. This just keeps going. Okay, brilliant. Let's go. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. That was... Yeah. That went a lot better than I expected. Okay, I'll take it. Didn't get the call. We... Oh, never mind. Ah, fresh air. There we are. Um, I think the village is this way. Here we are. Home kind of sweet... Oh! Hey, I knew you could do it. I always believed in that little bit of wheat. All right, let's get these down. There we go. We've got a farm. Pop you in there. Pop you in there. Oh, we do need some more charcoal. Okay, we only got one bit of coal that entire trip. I did also forget that one of the reasons we went down into the cave was to get some more stone for this thing. So I'm just going to go dig a little hole somewhere and get what I need. Here we go. This will do. Oh, and iron. Nice. 
Okay, I got a bunch of stone, and we also got 40 bits of, well, 41 bits of iron. So I should be able to make some decent tools with that now. I think I'm just going to start with two axes, as right now all we need is wood. Okay, let's get chopping. Wow, I'm at the top of this spruce tree right now, and this forest really is stunning. I think soon I'm going to have to start asking that villager some questions. Well, that took a long time, and I burned through a lot of iron, but... We do have a lot of wood now, which is great, and I got some stone too. So I would say that's most of the house material sorted, although I do want to include a lot of granite and brick. So I think we are going to have to head back to that lush cave to get a bunch of clay. And just to be safe, I'm going to craft some iron armour. There we go, perfect. And we did have one more piece of iron left over, which I've decided to use on something that we should have crafted quite a long time ago. There we go, now we're ready. Okay, here we go again. Ow. Oh, we're ready this time. Come on. Too easy. Oh, and we got our first ball. Nice. Okay, there are a lot of mobs down here, but I think as long as we keep our distance, we've got this. Kind of safe. Let's start grabbing the clear. Okay, I think I can see something shining in the water over there. I'm pretty sure that's our first diamond. Let me grab this iron real quick. We'll smelt it down, make a pickaxe, and then go fish it out. Lovely. First iron pick. Let's go get this diamond. There it is. Lovely. Oh, look at the particles glistening on that thing too. Okay, let's try not to drown. That'd be nice. <gasps> oh, there's more than one. Whoa. Uh-oh. Okay, that was too scary. Okay, round two. Get out. I did not expect to get any diamonds. Let's get back to digging all this clay up. There's lots to get through. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let me get across this thing, because I do... I would actually love some calcite. That would be great. This is perfect. I did have something in mind for the house that I wanted to use with calcite. So I'm super glad we found this. That was a really successful trip, but I think it's time to head out now. I don't want to push my luck. And once again, we're back in the village. Feels good to be home. Kind of. Not really home, but you know, it'll do. So I've got the clay cooking away, and I think now would be a great time to start changing our little area over here, ready for a house. I'm just going to get rid of these messy parts and just bring the whole thing forward. It doesn't have to go too far, but just a little bit longer to fit a house on. I want to try and preserve the natural area as much as we can, but a few of these trees are going to have to go. Okay, there we go. We've got a nice natural slope going up here, and I don't think this looks out of place. This looks like it's still part of the environment. And how are we doing on those bricks? Okay, okay. We've got a decent amount here. And then, I believe, is it just... Yes, there we go. Okay, lovely, lovely. We'll let that keep burning. We do have some more clay in the chest too, so it should be good. I'm going to bring some chests over near the area, uh, just so we can plop them in here and fill it with building resources. Okay, let's move all the wood over first. Okay, chest looking decent so far, but what I do need is some white wool. So, tell you what, let's make some shears real quick and let's go find some sheep. I did find one close to camp, but he keeps running around, so what I'm going to do is just pen him in until we can get a proper farm going. Nope. Oh, no. Uh, it's a little bit scuffed, but it works. I should have made more fences. Okay, we can just hold this guy here for a little bit. I don't even need too much wool, but it'll be nice to keep coming back to check on him. Okay, so I've got the area prepped. We've got more than enough junk in here. I think it's time to get started on this thing. What I want to do is mark out the initial floor plan. And then we can start building from there. So let's just say... One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one there. And then let's go along by... Let's go along by five. One, two, three, four, five. Place another one there. And then just to be sure we've counted this properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And another one. Okay, yeah. I think that's going to work nice. Now, I don't want this thing to be huge, so I'm going to go up by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that'll be a good size. Let's go with that. I just want to get a nice look at the ship from here. I think that's going to be the perfect size. I'm going to outline a roof next and see what we get. 
I did bring some moss early for scaffolding too. This thing's so quick to break. Okay, so this is why I wanted the dark oak. So if we... I'm going to start by doing that. Then, let's put a temporary block there. And a block there. The temporary block. And by two. Temporary block. Up by two. Temporary block. I need to be really careful not to fall off this either. Okay, let me double check the height on that thing now. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. And just getting the other side in here so it matches up at the top. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, the next step is to bring the roof along and repeat that shape on the other side. Okay, there we go. We've got a nice shape on there. I do think that tree at the back is probably going to have to go. I'll save that till last, though, because I do like nature kind of wrapping around this whole thing. I think that would suit the area. Okay, I want to outline the next part of the build. Now, the reason I grabbed the calcite and the wool earlier was because I wanted to add a tower onto this thing. So I'm going to bring something around like this, and I think that will sit nicely in the build. Let's just build this up and see what it looks like. And let's plop a torch in there before something spawns. I'm not sure how high I want to take this, but I would say this is probably high enough because we're going to have like a tower roof on this thing too, which will protrude quite far into the sky. And we don't want that looking too large next to our main roof. Yeah, we can always raise this. We can always make it higher if we need to. I want to add some interest to the front porch area. So I'm going to mark something out here like this and we'll have steps raising up to get into the house. We may need to adjust the front here, but we can make it work. I think it might be nice to actually get some spruce wood in here too. Let's swap that out there. And we will strip them. I find these stripped spruce and the oak wood goes really nice together. There you go, something like that. Now we can get rid of this. And we may want to change the stairs up later, but for now, I believe that will do. Now I've grabbed some oak wood and come back onto the roof. I would just like to go along the trim here and fill it all in. What I'm going to do first is fill everything in with oak planks and come back along with stripped oak for some detail. I've actually decided to bring the dark oak trim along the top and just contain the oak wood beneath it. I think that looks quite nice. And then what we can do is knock little blocks out here and add stripped wood for detail. I think that's a nice touch. And again, let's just repeat that on the other side here. And now that we've got the roof in, I think it gives us a lot more perspective on this tower, which clearly needs to be higher. I think I would feel more comfortable just bringing it up to the next point of the roof here like that. Yeah, I think that'd be a much better height. I think the tower sits in with the roof a little bit weirdly here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this and just go along with stairs instead. And that just gives us a little bit more room. So we could even consider putting maybe a window here like that. For the roof of this tower, I just want to make a nice little trim, starting with some stairs on the outside of the corners like this. And then using trap doors on the top and the side there and following it up with a block. And then I'm just going to repeat that on the other sides. So we've got trapdoor, trapdoor, trapdoor block. And I'll do it on this side too, so it looks even. And then I would say I want to bring the next part up like this. Maybe another block. We'll go by two. Okay, looks good. Then maybe one, two, one, two. And then one, two, three. And then at the top here, we've got a wall, we've got a fence, so we've got a chain. Then what we can do is surround the top part with walls like that and then for some extra detail we can do similar to what we've done here we can just add some strip logs in there maybe one there oh yes okay that looks good i'm happy with that i think now is probably a good time to move on to the interior or at least the walls of the house i would like all of the walls to be made of granite and brick i think what i want to do is bring it along the sides here like this which will give us this little indent but we'll carry it all the way around on the back and then along here again so we've got another indent like that and then what we can do is just fill it all in top to bottom and then we can come back around later on and decorate it with some bricks i think i will actually knock a hole a bit higher up on this one so we can get a gap in for a window and say i'm on this side bring it all the way down all the way across we do need to put something in here for the floor and i'm thinking to just use some spruce planks i think it gives it a nice cozy feel now that we've got the walls in, we can go back round, start taking out little random holes and filling it in with brick. And this should give us a nice texture, just like that. Yep, I like the look of that. Let's continue on the back. Whoa. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is my house. You're going to have to leave. 
If you leave now, I'll let I'll let you stay on the weekends. Yep. Okay. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Anyway, let's just knock some holes in the wall here and get some nice big windows in. This is quite a small interior, so I think getting the light in is important. Now let's finish this final wall by getting the granite in. And then I've got something a bit special in mind for the doorway. I'm going to clear a 3x3 three three space in the middle here for what I've got in mind. And then place trapdoors on the inside like this. Close all them up, get rid of the middle two, and replace that with the door. And then we can take some stairs and just round that off nicely. The granite one there. And then for some extra details, how about we put two stairs there, and later on we can grab some leaves and plop them on top. I think there's still room to add something interesting up there. I don't want to just put a window, so what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to knock a small hole in here so it's parallel with the window. And then if we put a slab in the middle, surround that by trap doors we can put a fence there a fence there and a fence there and if i go around the other side i'll put a little temporary block here for now and then we can get a door in i'm not quite sure how else to fill this gap so i'm just going to put a simple chain there and a lantern i'm just going to take a few of these leaves off this tree here and just place them on top like that Add some spruce signs on the side. And I would call the front mostly done. Not quite done. I don't think it would hurt to maybe add a few oak logs in here. Just for some variety. And then we can wrap these in spruce signs like that. Just for a little bit of extra detail. And same on the other side. Get the oak logs in. Plop the signs on the side. And while we're here, let's just put something on the top of these things. I'm really happy with this so far. But that tower on the side is starting to look a little bit bare. So I've got some wool, and I think I'm ready to texture it now. I'm just going to do a similar thing to what I've done with the brick and the granite. Just knock a bunch of random holes out and fill it in with a different block. There we go, just like that. And I did bring some glass panes with me, so we can fill the window in here. That really does make the world of difference, but not quite finished yet. I want to add a little bit more detail on the side. And to do that, I'm going to keep it nice and easy. One of them, one of them, and some on the side. The next part I want to do is just bring a bunch of dirt along the side where the indent is. Then trap doors all the way along. And just like that, we've got a nice spot for a flower bed. And while I'm around this side, might as well pop those in. And then one more on the other side. Get the dirt in. Put the trap doors on top. And I think now's probably a good time to grab some flowers to fill those flower beds in. Let's just go with some of these. Get the peonies in. And the corn flowers. Not really what I had in mind, but I'm sure we can go exploring for some new flowers later on. So I would say the exterior is done. Although, I've just had one idea that I could do for the roof. Right, it should be fairly straightforward as long as I don't fall off and kill myself. Do a stair there. A stair there. We can come around the top. Add a slab. And add a trap door there. And that should hopefully give the front a bit more character. Oh yes, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. But now that looks a little bit flat. So I'm going to grab some more slabs and head back up. I just want to do something really simple here and add the slabs like this. Yes, I think that's made the world of difference. I like that. I like that a lot. I really want to get the interior sorted out now. We don't have much space in here, so we've got to be clever with how we use it. I just want to run slabs along the top here, and this can be used to separate the floors. Looks like this overlaps the window a little bit, but I think that's fine. I think we can get away with that. I'm not going to worry about it. And then we can knock a hole in here and take the ladders up like that. Okay, there we go. We've got two floors now. Okay, I've actually changed my mind about this. I am going to worry about it. I'm just going to replace this with granite. Yeah, I think that looks a lot smarter. Now, like I said, we don't have loads of room in here, so we're going to have to be smart of how we use the space. I'm going to be a little bit sneaky and add the chests into the walls here. Okay, so we've got a little miniature storage room here. I mean, it's not great, but it'll do for now. And then I think the best approach for the space here is just going to be using some slabs. And we can we can use these as shelves. And I've just remembered we did find some lapis earlier on in a cave. Let's turn some of this in a blue dye. Then we can make some blue wool. And then we've got some carpet. You know what? That actually looks quite good. And I think underneath here we can just place a, let's say, a stone cutter there in the corner. For the upstairs, I think we're just going to keep it nice and simple. We'll get our bed down, maybe put a few shelves up. We can have one there, pop an azalea bush in it, maybe just put a chest in the corner there. Let's get it lit up. We've got our little storage room coming up the top here as well. And I would say, done. And after all that hard work, I think we can finally go to bed for the first time in our new home. Whoa, this place really is beautiful. Hi, villager. He's ignoring me. 
That was a lovely night's sleep. Okay, let's see what the day's got for us. Whoa. Hold on a second. Why is that tree on fire? Villager? I can't see him anywhere. I'm going to go have to have a look at this. Whoa. The whole thing's gone up in flames. But what caused this? Okay, I need to find the villager and see what's going on here. There he is. Do you know anything about this tree that's on fire? And you don't think we should be worried about it? Okay, well, he's told me not to worry about it, but I'm a little worried about it. First things first, let's just get rid of this. We need to put this fire out before it spreads. It looks like all the leaves are burned up too. Wow, we are so lucky this didn't spread to the rest of the forest. I wonder what could have caused it though. Maybe, maybe the wind caught some of the fires from these old houses. I should really take better care of this village if I'm to rebuild it. Okay, let's get rid of these things. This thing's still hot. I need to be careful. Okay, there we go. This looks a lot better now. I don't really want any of these burned materials though, so I'm just going to go chuck them over here and let them despawn. Okay, now that's taken care of. I need to address the next problem in this village. And right now, that is the food situation. Now, I do have a little farm over here, but it's not quite enough to feed the two of us. And I'd rather not keep killing animals either. I want to keep this place as natural as possible. So I think the goal for today will be to sort out some farms. And I think to do that, we're going to need to build a nice build to house all of the new wheat. And what better build to do that in than a windmill? The only thing I need to decide on really is where we're going to build it. Now, I quite like the idea of restoring this little area here to its former glory. So what I may do is push these trees back a little bit. I'll just chop them down for now. Clean the land up a little bit. And then we get a nice little windmill in here and maybe surrounded by some farms. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Although another issue is that we don't really have much iron for tools either. Okay, I think we may need a mining trip at some point today. Perhaps even set up a proper mine. Let's see how far we get with this iron axe. I'm still a little bit freaked out by that tree being on fire. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe there was a lightning storm last night, but I feel like I would have woke up. I'm a very light sleeper. Unless... Maybe he's setting things on fire. I don't know. He's looking at that sheep awfully weird right now. Yeah, maybe there's more to that guy that meets the eye. But for now, we really have no choice but to trust him. Right, I've cleared a little bit of space out, but it's getting a bit dark, so I'm going to hop to bed and we'll do the rest in the morning. Right, it's a brand new day again. I'm kind of scared to open the door in case anything else is on fire. Let's just do it, though. Phew. Okay, nice. I'm watching you, buddy. I'm watching you. Right, well, maybe that was just a freak accident the other night. But let's not risk it. I should really put these fires out. I think this is long overdue. Yeah, that's looking better. Don't know why we didn't do that earlier. Time to get back to chopping trees. I think I'm going to do a very small windmill so we don't need too much space. I may get rid of this one, possibly that one, and maybe those two there. And I would say that would be enough. Let's start with this one, though. It does feel a shame to chop these down because they are so beautiful. But we can always replant them. I want to be as sustainable as possible in this village. It's such a beautiful area. It would feel such a shame if we destroyed the whole thing. Oh, we got a floating tree up there. Arguably worse than the one on fire. Yeah, I would say that's more than enough space. I do want to clean that tree up, though. You get that silly issue where if you chop a tree down and it's attached to another one, the leaves just never disappear and it always looks dead strange. Yeah, there we go. I don't mind leaving it a little bit bushy. Ooh, saplings. This will be good if we want to replant it all. Now, this may seem a little bit counterproductive considering we've just planted these crops, but we are going to have to tear it up. I feel like we should really be in a position where we can transfer this water to, so I'm going to check the chest, see if we've got any iron for that. Oh, wow, okay. We don't have a single bit of iron in these chests. Hi. Oh, what do you want? Yeah, keep walking, buddy. Oh, he's come back. Shush. Okay, yeah, so we're going to need some iron. I'm trying to decide what would be the easiest way to do this. I think for now, until we get some more resources, I'm going to just build a little mine shaft behind the house, and then we can just strip mine materials as and when we need them. I do really need some food, though. Right, we have four pieces of bread to last us until we get this farm up and running. Remind me not to sprint, okay? I need my energy. Thank you. Let's take that shovel, a little bit of wood. Do we have any charcoal left? We do, it's right there. And I'm just going to have to take some cobblestone so we can make some extra pickaxes on the way down there because this iron one isn't reaching the bottom. I am going to also craft some ladders. Now, I'm not sure how many we're going to need, but I do want to go pretty far down in the world. So let's make as much of them as we can. 64 and 47. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. I will take a spare bed too. You never know how dark it's going to be on the way back up. So if we just come around the back of the house here, I think we can make a nice little entrance to a mine shaft. Yeah, this'll do. Now, I want to make this as simple as possible, so I'm just going to keep it too wide for now. And then that way, we're not going to fall down and kill ourselves. Don't forget to put torches on the way down. Ooh, nice. We got some coal. I'll take it. Thank you. We do have loads of charcoal, but we'll run out eventually. Okay, let me just patch this back up before I get confused. Oh, we don't want anything spawning in there. Okay, back to it. Ooh, more coal. Don't mind if I do. 
And let's do the same again. Let's just block this little area off. There we go. This iron pickaxe is not going to last too much longer. And... Break. There we go. Okay, well, we've made some decent progress, at least. Oh, I forgot to put the torches down. Oh, that's okay. We can do it on the way up. Great, I need to make a crafting bench so we can get some stone tools. I'm going to make five. I really don't feel too much difference between these iron and stone tools. They're about the same speed. Okay, I would say this is probably far enough down now. I would like to get the ladders on first, and then we can come back and do the torches afterwards. Let's just make sure we have enough to get out of here, though. It does look like it's nighttime. Hopefully nothing jumps down this hole when we get to the top. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to hang around at the top in case there's a creeper lurking. So we'll just go straight back down. Ooh, let's place torches while we're going down. There we go. Perfect. I do want a little bit of extra space down here. I don't want to feel in super claustrophobic. Okay, that's better. I can jump now. I don't really think it matters where we start digging. So I'm just going to pick a tunnel here. And we'll strip mine a little bit until we find something. It does look like there's lots of copper down here. I guess we can save that for later. Although I don't really have any plans for it right now. This seems like a crazy amount of effort just to get a bucket. But needs to be done. That looks like one pickaxe down. But this is why we made five. Oh, looks like we've got some tough. That's brilliant. I do like tough. And some basalt. Whoa, looks like I've got an opening. Is it safe? It looks safe. I should really put my shield up right now. This is scaring me. We are quite low down. Maybe if we're lucky, we can find some iron in the walls. Oh, here we go. Okay, walls, floor. Same thing. I'll take it. Nice. It's quite a lot. It looks like we've got some more in the wall here too. Let me grab this real quick. It's a shame to melt the deep slate iron. It looks so cool. It looks like there's a big opening through there. I don't really want to push my luck, but at the same time, we could find something really cool. It looks like we've broke into a lush cave. Oh no, my axe broke. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's following. You know what? I think we got this guy. Come on. Got him. There we go. Okay, we do not have nearly enough food or energy to be doing something like this. Let's just get out of here, take what we've got, and get it home. Where is home? This way? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're lost. Wait. Are we lost? Yeah, we're lost. Okay, so the iron's in the ground here, which means we came this way, which is where the torches are leading. There oh, here we are. Here we are. And I need to remember to stop sprinting. I wanted to ration the bread, but I think I'd rather be on full health right now. I always get scared coming out of these tunnels in case something's waiting at the top. That's why we've got a shield. Hey, villager. Let me just double check the area for creepers. Maybe I'm being overly cautious, but we only get one life. Hey, we've got 12 bits of raw iron. That's not too bad. I mean, at least we can definitely get a bucket, which is the main reason we'll be down there for. I would like some more for tools, but we're going to have to save that until later. Hey, B. It's a shame we didn't get any bone meal from that skeleton. Growing this farm when the windmill's ready is going to be a very slow process on its own. We're going to take that iron, put it in the crafting bench, and we've got a bucket. Brilliant. We don't really need those stone pickaxes anymore. Ta-da! I'm just going to empty what we found in this box for now. I know we made a storage room in the house, and I did definitely promise that I would tidy it up, but it's just so easy not being tidy. Let's see what we can do with this little bit of land. I'm going to get rid of those wild berries, pick all this andesite up. I think this disappears over time, but just to be sure, let's just jump on it. And done. Perfect. So the idea was to flatten all this off, or maybe even raise it up a little bit, but... I only have 21 bits of dirt. Shouldn't be too much harder to get, but let's see how far we can take this. Just want to fill this in like that. And we've run out. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, that didn't get far at all. Yeah, we're going to go have to dig some up. I think I'm going to dig underground for the dirt. At least this way the top can still pretty. Maybe I'm being optimistic, but I don't really think we'll need more than a few stacks here. There we go. That should do. It's very dark down here. I do like the natural curve in the land here, so I might actually keep that, but it would make more sense to bring it forward. So let's just keep the same pattern by adding one block to each thing here, and maybe just do that a few times. Just like this. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a little bit further, though. Yeah, this is great, but I think what we'll need to do is bring this along here something like that connected up we can make this look a bit more natural afterwards and then we're gonna have a little bit of a job connecting all this so i think what we can do is bring it around here yeah that's a nice shape 
And then we can just close all this off and we'll have like an elevated level. And we've run out of dirt again. Okay. Maybe I was a little bit too optimistic. But it's coming along. It's looking nice. I'm definitely a fan of this. We want to make sure we leave room out the front here. Because that's where some extra farms are going to go. I would say the windmill will go around about there where that tree is. Then we'll fill the rest of the land in. Anyway, let's go to bed. We'll pick this up in the morning. I'm just going to sleep on this campsite tonight. The bed's already made for us. I really love this place in the morning light. It looks so beautiful. We do have quite a bit of work ahead of us though. So let's get straight into our little dirt hole and dig some more up. Wait, this is the wrong hole. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. And back to it. This one's getting a little bit annoying to dig in now, so I think it's time we go dig another one. Let's make one... There's a lot of sheep here. There is a lot of sheep here. Hello, sheep. We could just not make a windmill and eat these guys. Nope. We're going to be natural. We're going to be friendly to the environment. We're going to be carbon neutral. I think it's important to look after the environment. I understand them saying that while digging a giant hole and destroying the landscape, but... You know, some things are unavoidable. And besides, we're going to make it all look pretty upstairs anywhere. So if anything, we're doing the world a favor right now. Oh, looks like that's all we're getting. Okay, which way? This way? That's the one. All right, let's get this filled in. What is that noise? Is that, is that a zombie down there? Have we got a little... Oh, we've got a little cave down there. If I can't see my problems... It's not real. Although that noise is very annoying. Okay, let's take care of this guy. Oh, we don't have, we don't have a shovel. Okay. Times are getting a little bit desperate here, so I think for now we're going to have to survive on berry bushes. These things grow really quick, so it shouldn't be much of an issue. It would be fine if I didn't sprint around everywhere, but I'm just too impatient. I can't do it. I can't not do it. All right, let's show this zombie who's boss. Let's make a little staircase. Hello? We've got like a little cave going on here. Sorry, buddy. Whoa! Ah, we good? We good. Oh, there's another one. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Now, zombies and skeletons. I can fight all day. It's not the zombies and skeletons I'm afraid of. We really need to make this safe, but I'm just so worried about what's down there. We're so low on food, but we do need the bone meal too. Okay, I'm jumping down. Are we safe? Let's get all this lit up. Right, phew, no creepers. We will live to see another day, thankfully. That was scary, but I'm glad we did it. We don't need anything creeping out of these tunnels, or even worse, we don't need to drop in one of these tunnels one day when we're digging something up. Let's get that patched up again. How are the berry bushes doing? They're getting there. These things do grow... Ooh, no way. These things do grow extremely quick. Not my food of choice, but it gets the job done. I think I want to raise the ground up just one more level here, and then we can put our windmill right on top. I think we'll need to bring this hill down a little bit, and then expand it outwards this way. I've knocked the land back even further and I'm just trying to decide whether or not I want to elevate it one more time. And I think we will. I think we will just go for it. If I just bring it around here, we can then maybe bring it around to say... I would say that is a good point. And if we just fill this little area in here, I would say that's enough room to do it. Okay, last little bit. And we are just about done. Let me just get this last little bit in here. Perfect. There we go. Let's get a nice view of the area, see what it looks like. Oh, yes, I like it. I'm really glad we decided to go with that last little elevation there. I think that's perfect. Well, I would say it's maybe a little bit too far back. So I'm just going to bring everything along by one or two levels. Yeah, that really is exactly how I wanted it. I'm just going to tidy the back up a little bit here too. Make it look a bit more natural. I think for the next step, it's going to make sense if we mark the windmill out first. Now, I don't really know what I want to use to build this thing, but if we get the general shape down, it'll maybe give me more of an idea. I don't really have many resources to mark things down with, so I'm just going to stick with cobble for now. Now, I think the main windmill part should go somewhere in the center, and I'm going to keep it quite small. So let's just say three on each side, like that. Let's see, is that nice and center? Okay, we may want to shift that a little bit along to the left to make sure it's a bit more centralized with this here. Let's do one, two, three. Get rid of these. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Now, I want two buildings sticking out of the side of the main windmill. So, what we'll do is we'll go one, two, three. And then run it along the back. So, it'll be like this. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this tree's going to need to go. Sorry, tree. Now that we've got the basic shape in, and I'm quite happy with how it's positioned over here, I think it's time to pick a pallet to build it with. Now, I want to keep this nice and simple, as we're still only just starting out here. I've gone ahead and marked out a few simple blocks here, and I think the colour pallet is going to work really nicely. I've left this one empty because I want to fill it with diorite, but we don't have any diorite. So, what I'm going to do is grab some more food, we'll head back down into the mines, and we'll explore those caves a little bit further. Here we go, that's exactly what we're after. 
Oh, it's some iron here too. Nice. I'll take this. Okay, great. Let's get this diorite. We don't need much of it. I would say maybe just half a stack will do. And even that is probably overkill. But while we're here, we might as well grab as much as we can. We could always use it later in a different build. Right, that's the pickaxe broke. I did forget to make an iron one. I can't be bothered to smelt that down while we're here. So let's head back and we'll get started on the windmill. Now, as usual, I do like to make a little project box in the area that we're working in. Just so we can have easy access to materials. So let's get this all filled up. And then I would say we're good to go. I think it's about time we pay our little friend a visit down the side of the hill here too. We're going to need a lot of wool from you, buddy. This has definitely been one of the easiest projects to plan for, even compared to the house. I've only filled around about a single chest. What I'm going to do, though, is grab the stone variants and begin building this up. I do need to figure out how tall I want this windmill part at the front. Similar to how we built the house, I'm just going to build up by five or six. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. We should have really brought a bucket of water for this. Ow. Bruh. We had one in the inventory the whole time. Rip. I think that's high enough. I think that'll do. I'm planning on doing a middle section which will go even further and make that out of something different like granite. Okay, now that we've got a general height in, I'm just going to go around this base area here and build it all up to the same height. I just want to randomise the blocks as I go. Get some andesite in there, a little bit of stone, but primarily I do want to use stone bricks. A bobblestone. Okay, there's the middle part done. Let's see what this looks like. I think that is going to look nice. I think that's just about the right scale that we're building on for this house too. They're probably going to end up similar sizes. If anything, I would say the windmill's a little bit smaller, but I think it'll work. Now, I want to decide how I'm doing these side parts here. I think I'm going to grab some spruce wood for this part. I'm going to delete these. Put two on the outside like that. And then if we grab some oak wood, we can plop one in the middle. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's do the same on the other side. Put you there, finish with the oak. Yep, I like it. This is why I wanted the calcite and the diorite, which I must have put in the other chests. Right, I'm going to build this up just by... Mm, let's say by two. Yeah, I think that's a nice height because I am going to put a slanted roof on here too, which will bump it up by one or two blocks. Same on this side. Some calcite down. Yeah, perfect. Shape is a little bit sus right now, but we're not going to talk about it. We do need some extra spruce wood though. I'd like to just bring this trim all the way back. At least we we'll start to accumulate some iron now, so I don't feel as guilty for making tools. Right, let's just delete all of this because I think I know what shape we're going with now. And bring this all the way along and get it all trimmed. Oops. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. I think it's going to make sense if we just bring this calcite all the way along. And then we can just maybe knock a few blocks out and sprinkle the diorite in. Uh, I'm going to leave that there for a little glass window, actually. We'll not touch that one. And then I just want to run the spruce slabs along like this. We get to a nice center point. And then same on the other side. Bring that along. Go up, go out, go up. What we'll do is put a full block there. Do we have any stairs? Nope, we need stairs. Then we can put a stair there and a trap door on top. And then we can just bring this along like that. And let's put some trapdoors there. Whoops, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's do that on the other side as well. So bring that along, plop one there, do that. Oh, we still need to fill this in all the way around the back. And then bring the trapdoors up gradually. For the next part, I would just like to take some oak slabs here and just run them along parallel to the roof trim. Although for the top part, I think I'd rather go for a different shape. So how about we do that and just add some trapdoors in. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Same on the other side. Just bring that along. Perfect. And push this all the way across the back. Bring it up. We're doing spruce slab followed by two trapdoors. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this shape. I think for the next part, we'll get started with the granite. It makes sense to me to match the height of the granite part with this stone structure so i think we'll go by six in fact it's going to make more sense to just build this whole thing as we go so that's two one two one two one two this makes four and then one more one more set of two that is i'd rather not keep jumping up and down this thing i think the height's getting a little bit dangerous now so what i've done is i've brought the materials with me that we're going to need to finish it off and we might as well just try and get it all done in one go i'm going to do a similar looking tower to what we did over there but i will change the trim up a little bit so i'm going to put a trap door here and here make those stairs symmetrical do the same again and then if we just repeat this all the way around like this that'll give us a nice shape from below you can't really see it from here and then if we just make some spruce planks right now we can build this up a little bit have a nice little t-shape there we go and then fill the corners in with the granite walls like that and we can put them at the top here and then one more followed by a spruce fence and a gym let's just try and get down here safely first we've got the water we do mlg time nice right moment of truth what we got drum roll yeah like i said pretty similar to that not as tall obviously different blocks as well for the different trim but i'm happy with that looks good now of course right now it just looks like a little bit of a weird tower but i have grabbed some white wool so we can get started on the blades and turn this thing into a proper windmill i want to make sure this comes out far enough so i think we'll take the oak logs from here or here hmm 
Yeah, from here. One, two, three. That should work. Now, this part always gets a little bit fiddly, as you do have to be in the right position to put these things down. But I do think grindstones act as a great turning mechanism. Looks like a giant cog. Time to get the wool in. I think what I'd like to do is just a really simple design Ooh. of one, two, three. Should we do four? No, let's stick with three. And maybe come along here and up like that. And then on the way down, we can just place some spruce fences like that. And maybe one more on the top. Yeah, let's go for one more on the top there too. Okay, I like that. That's a good size. If we come along to the left here, we can do something similar. So along by two, up by one, along by two. And then, looks like a tree's in the way a little bit. We can chop that down there though. And then put some spruce fences underneath. And then one more there. Now for the next one, we're going to start underneath here. We're going to come along by two, go down by one along by another two and looks like we're a little bit too high for this okay i'm just going to place some water here so we can get underneath it bring it down and along by one and that should be enough uh oh we've made a mess and again with the spruce fences two there one there and that's it that one's done okay last part let's get low enough this time and then we can do two one bring it down like that and then just another one along on the side. Get the spruce fences in. This thing's starting to look great. I'm really happy with it. But what I have noticed is these corners look a little bit out of place. So I'm going to get rid of these here. And then we can run some andesite walls down the side with some stone bricks mixed in there. And if we grab some stairs, I would like to do something similar for a doorway. So if we just put stairs there, stairs there. The wall in the middle. We got a nice little natural doorway going on. I will break this. Let's grab ourselves a nice spruce door. Perfect. It looks like the transition there is a little bit too stiff. I would say that's pretty easy to fix though. I think we just need some slabs up here. Maybe if we go like that. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Does look like it's a little bit shaded where it's currently at though. So let's just stick a torch on it too. Usually I don't like putting torches on things. But I think for a rustic build like this, it doesn't look too out of place. And let's just finish off the exterior by plopping some windows in here. And I would say that's the exterior done. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Of course, we're not finished yet. We still need to transform all this into farming area, which is going to take some time given the current rate of seeds and the fact that we're running out of food it's going to be so worth it though once we can move away from these berry bushes now for the interior of this thing i'm just going to knock these walls through here and then we're going to just expand the whole of the inside here like this and then we can even knock these out there we go we've got a nice roomy building here fair to say the villager likes it he's been giving it a good look i could put him in charge of the crops but honestly i don't oh I could put him in charge of the crops, but I don't trust him. That guy's mega sus. You're giving me sus vibes. I think for the floor in here, we're just going to keep it nice and simple and go with some spruce planks. It'll match the house, and honestly, I don't think there's a cozier wood type. Let's just fill this in like this. Perfect. And staying true to the rustic feel, I just want to grab some cobblestone slabs and mark out a general path area that we can use to get up to the windmill. And then we can go around, make a nice little path. And now for the important part, I do want to start making some walls so we can put in a nice crop field here and on the other side. I think the obvious thing to make this out of would be some form of stone. However, I would like to do a nice combination of leaves, spruce planks and some fences. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of leaves out here and then we'll head back. So I've decided I want to use the middle sections of these elevations for the wheat. I'm going to mark out the general crop field area here. And then what we can do is we can go in for the extra layers of cobblestone in the middle. And to add just a little bit more detail, we can put some spruce fences around the side. I would like to bring this up all the way to the middle here, all the way to the top. It's looking a little bit too busy, so we'll take some of the leaves out and just replace them with some cobblestone blocks instead. Yeah, I think that looks much better already. Okay, I'm going to do the same on this side as well. I'm going to start with the cobblestone, bring that up and around the top here, and outline it further with some leaves, and then just finish it off again with some spruce fences here. I really do like this combination. Looks very natural, very rustic, which is exactly the type of vibe we're going for. Time to grab our trusty water bucket. I'm just going to go around the field putting some holes in, just so we can hydrate the farm properly. Now, I'm sure this is a super efficient way to do this, but that would require a lot of counting. I'm <laughs> not really in the mood for that right now, so... I'm going to put a bunch of random holes down and we'll fill this up with water. Speaking of, I've not seen any water around here for quite a while, actually. I don't even know where the closest river is. Maybe this way? Is that water? Yeah, there we go. I did just go empty our bucket at the farm because I realized it was already full. Oh, pumpkins. Hello. Oh, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Let me grab them. Brilliant. I did not know they were there. Okay, let's fill this bucket up. Hey, chicken. And let's head back. Right, I'm just going to plop this down here. And now we've got our own little infinite water source, which is going to make filling this in a lot easier. Now, I'm not going to fill every single block because I would like to leave some space for flowers and other type of foliage. I just think it's the best of both worlds that way. We can get some nice crops in and we can make it look all pretty. 
Okay, so we have 21 bits of bone meal. We got one weed seed here. Okay, that will only give us 10 seeds. That's not going to get us too far. We'll plant what we can, and then we'll go hunt up for some more seeds. Although, while we're waiting for this to grow, why don't we start a little pumpkin farm? And again, this is just something else we can put in the fields that is going to make things look a lot more lively. Let's go hunt for some weed seeds, and we'll come back and check on the pumpkins. Hi, sheep. You know what? I feel a bit bad for this guy. He's been trapped in this little cage for a long time now. It's not very free range. There you go, sir. You are free. Enjoy your new life. Go on. You're free, bro. See, he doesn't want to leave. He wants to be... No, he's gone. Okay. Look at that butt. Look at that woolly butt. Okay, seed time. Let's see what we get. Right, that felt like a pretty poor effort, but I did manage to get a collective of 16. So let's plop this in the farm and see what we're left over with. Right, we still have a lot to go. And I don't think we've got any bone meal left either. Well, in that case, I'm going to go home. I'm going to relax. I'm going to put my feet up for maybe a day or two. I'll come back when these things are fully grown. I've been staring at this wall for about three days now. I'm hoping that the crops have grown. And they have. Yes, look at that. And we got all the pumpkins. See, the pumpkins and the wheat look great together. I love that. Yeah, this should definitely be enough seeds now. Let's see how many we get. Oh, wow. I'm getting so many seeds right now. This is perfect. I'm not even going to pick those pumpkins up. We're just going to leave them there. It's looking good. I'm hopeful. Do we have enough? We got one seed left. No way. No way. There is one spot left on the farm. You can't make this up. This is perfect. I feel like this was meant to be. We do still have some blank spaces, though. I did grab some lilacs earlier. So I would like to place a few down. We can No! That's okay. We can use these quite sparingly, though. One there. Another one there. Pop you there. Ooh, okay. Yep. I like it. I think we can fill this in now. There we go. And now that this thing's starting to develop food, we are going to need somewhere to store it. So I figured we can just put some basic storage facilities inside of here. Now, I don't really have too much of a plan for this. So if we maybe just stack some barrels up there. I do want to maybe close this in so we can turn this into a little bit of a wardrobe. Something like that. Maybe put another chest on there. And then fill that at the top. Make sure this is all lit up properly. And there you go. It's very basic, but we don't really need much of an interior in here. I think as the storage starts to expand, I'll do something a little bit more elaborate. But for now, that is all we need. Just a few chests on the floor. And since it's a farm, I do think it makes sense to make a composter right now. So let me grab one of them real quick. And I'm just going to put this here. This all took quite a while to put up. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling sleepy now. So I'm just going to go to bed and we'll check on the crops tomorrow. What are you doing? My house. My house. He's still... Oh, he's gone. And another beautiful day in paradise. Crops are looking very nice up. Wait, what was that? Where'd he get that hat from? Villager, what are you doing? He's not listening. Where is that guy getting hats from all of a sudden? He's... Weird. There's two? Do you know this guy? Hello? How did you find this place? Yeah, welcome home. Maybe if we keep expanding this village and creating opportunities, more villagers are going to move in and take a job. This is fantastic. We really do have a good chance of rebuilding something special here. That really is exciting stuff. I think I'm going to go home for a little bit and think about what I can do next. Okay, world, what have you got for me today? I wonder how our new little farmer's getting along. I think we should go up here and visit and see what he's up to. Good morning, sir. How are you settling in? Everything good? Oh, looks like you got some seeds on the floor here. Well, he's definitely keeping himself busy, but the only problem is he's picking up all the wheat and I can't really get it back off him, which doesn't do much for our food shortage. Maybe while he's not looking, I'll grab all these over here. I could just take the crops off him, but he's new here. I don't want to upset him. Okay, nice. Let's get these replanted. This farm is a little bit of a mess. When I built this farm, I thought it would be cool if I left loads of gaps in the ground to make it look all natural. Now that I think about it, it's kind of impractical. So we're just going to fill all this in and get a proper wheat field going. Let's get these planted. Yeah, I'm just going to fill all the gaps in. I thought the variety would look nice, but I think we just need something a little bit more practical now. Especially with that guy eating all the seeds and not giving them back. Get this little spot down here. There we go. I'm going to do the same on this side as well. There we go, nice and full. Let's harvest these while we're here. I did get a decent amount of wheat off that. I'm just going to pop it in this barrel here. While we are slowly accumulating crops, I don't quite feel like it's going to be enough to survive on, especially if we want to attract more villagers. So what I'm thinking of doing is creating a cow crammer, just a little temporary one so we can stock up on steak. I think it would be best if we built it inside of the windmill. And we should have enough space here if I just move this chest out of the way. It's been a while since I've built one, but I'm pretty sure we only need a small hole. So this should do. 
Yeah, I'm going to grab a few materials and get started on this thing. Hi, villager. I'm not going to put too much thought into what materials we're using for this. So I'm just going to stick with spruce and stone. We should have a bucket somewhere too. I don't know where I've put it. Oh, there it is. Let's take these chests while we're here too. And I believe once we've made a hopper, that should be everything. Okay, let's get this thing started. Now, if I remember this properly... I'm going to have to dig around two or three blocks down. I'm going to put a chest there, feed a hopper into it. Actually, let's pick these up. I don't think it has to be this low. I think we can do it one block higher. So if I put a chest there and feed the hopper into the back, we can put a stair on top of that. This will need to stay open. I just had to grab some more fences because I think I got the design wrong. So I'm pretty sure I put them around here like that. And then we'll drop the cows in here. And when they are in there, I think we put another fence on top and then put the water in. And that should work. Unless I'm completely getting this wrong, which is 100% a possibility. I think we should just go get some cows and see what happens. Hello, cows. I think I just spotted one. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's two. Nice. Hello, ladies. Come with me, please. I promise it'll be worth your while. Totally not going to have you for dinner. That's right. Come on. Through the trees, please. Okay, watch these berry bushes. Don't walk into them, please. In fact, we can just get rid. We don't need these anymore. We're moving up in the world. Making progress. Making moves. All right, single file, please. Come on. You want me to get rid of that door? You coming in? There you go. I think you've been a little bit dramatic, but... Okay, if you want to just hop in the hole, that'd be great. Tell you what, I'm just going to seal this up before they jump out. Right, that wasn't working, so I've had to lower the hopper down by one so I can get them in the hole. I'm just going to fill this up here so we can walk past it, and then... Once we get these guys in again, it should be quite simple. Okay. In the hole, please. Go on. Okay, there's one in. All I can see right now is cow. A little bit more. Little nudge. Come on. And he's in. Let's get the fences up. Plop one there so they can't get out. Let's put a fence gate in the middle. So we can get in and feed them later on. And I think that means we can put the water in now. We need to place it on top of the hopper like that. And there we go. Seems to be working. And can we feed these guys? Okay, brilliant. That is a success. You do love to see it. Let's get this thing patched up. There we go. Get the door back on. Beautiful. Now that is officially the end of the food crisis. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to put you out of a job. You can still pick your wheat up. I need it to feed the cows. That's going to make our lives a lot easier now. What I really want to focus on at the minute is getting some upgrades. Right now, I'm running around in some pretty shabby iron gear. I've not really got any good tools. And currently, we have two diamonds to our name. So I think the plan is to get a blacksmith set up. I would like somewhere to forge items and store all of our gear. And I think I'm going to build it over here, where this old house is. Maybe in between these two. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it around about here. So first things first, let's clear all this debris up. And then we'll get a nice little spot sorted for our blacksmith. Get rid of all this wood. And let's dig this floor up as well. I will get a nice path through the village. But right now, I don't really feel like we need one. Do I have any dirt? 48. I feel like we're just short on everything right now. I think sometime soon, I'm going to have to set a day aside and just mine and gather resources as much as I can. Actually, with that in mind, I'm going to need quite a bit of wood for what I've got planned. So what I'm going to do is grab all of our saplings and just get a nice little tree farm going. That way, we won't keep running out of resources while we're building. Do we have any spruce saplings? I do need to sort this storage out as well. I think the storage room is pretty high in the do list. I did manage to grab enough saplings to get started on a farm. So I think I'm just going to put it down by the coast here. Whoa. You know, I think this is the first time that I've actually took time to look at the ocean. I wonder how long that goes on for. That really is scary. Yeah, this spot should do. Let me just clear a few trees out the way first. Gotta chop trees to make trees. I'm a sustainable guy though. There really isn't a lot of space here, actually. We want a lot of trees. Okay, I'm going to have to cut some more of these down. I love the birch wood. It's beautiful. I should have made this village out of birch wood. That would have made things a lot easier. I'm going to cut down this last tree, and I think that should do it. Yeah, there we go. That's really nice. We got a pretty big amount of birch wood there, too. So that'll come in handy later. Just going to plant one big spruce tree, I think. Get a few oak saplings down. And, of course, the most important one the dark oak. Let's head home for a bit. Maybe get started on clearing the land. We'll check back on those trees soon. Similar to how we built the windmill on a natural slope, I do kind of like how this is raised up here. What I'm going to do is get rid of these big trees and bring that further round. Then we can place our blacksmith on top and have a nice pathway leading up to it. I think it's time to break the moss pack out so we can get some scaffolding on these things. Right, let's get up there. 
I need to be really careful not to fall. I forget we still don't have feather falling on our boots. So this is really dangerous. Okay, I think that's all of that tree. I could try and do the jump, but I'm not going to risk it. Let's just get down nice and safely and take our time. Okay, next one. I want to make sure I don't leave any wood in these things. It's going to be a real pain to get back up. Right, I'm pretty sure that's all of it. Let's take this one down and then we should have enough space to get building. Or at least to start bringing the land across anywhere. Oh yeah, that's looking much better already. I'm going to knock a few of these trees back as well though. Just to clear some more space up. I think the more room we have to work with, the better. It looks like these trees are keeping those leaves alive. Nope, never mind. Yeah, this is looking good, but we're going to need a lot of dirt to carry it around. And I know we don't have any because I used it all up for the windmill. I'm going to craft a couple of shovels, maybe a few shovels, and just go get as much as possible. We will use it all eventually, so I think it's good to have a little bit of a stockpile. And it's about time that I start stocking up on things properly, especially if we're going to be building a storage room soon. Do we have any torches? Could really do with some right now. I guess not, but we do have plenty charcoal. In fact, we have got too much charcoal. Right, let's go find a random spot. Oh, the trees. I forgot about the trees. Nice. I forgot we were growing these things. Might as well just dig a hole here, I suppose. Then we can have all our little farms in one place. Hello. Oh, it's fine. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just dig this way. I want to grab as much of this as I can. I might as well keep going until all three shovels are broke. Let's just light this up. Make sure nothing sneaks up on us. This is good though. This is what we want. Like all of the walls are made of dirt. We can just dig all this out. And it seems safe enough. The reason that I dig these little dirt tunnels underground is so that we don't destroy the environment up top. I think it's pretty obvious at this point that I like to keep things looking as natural as possible. I did say I was going to use all three shovels, but I've used two and I think it's enough. And besides, look at these tunnels we've got underground now. I think this looks really cool in dirt. I don't know why it feels so satisfying when you come out of a tunnel. Maybe it's the fresh air. Maybe I like fresh air. I'm going to start doing an outline of how I want the hillside to look. We just move all of this rubbish out of the way. And then bring it around. Probably just curve it a little bit like that. It, it means quite simple, but honestly, I think that's all we need right now. Um, I would bring this round. We could have that slope off around the back. This can come all the way around. Something like that around the trees. Yeah, how high do I want this though? One more would do. And then maybe bring this round like that. And we could drop it down into there. Right, let's get all this filled in. I'll probably end up swapping some of this out for stone as well, especially towards the top. I do have certain progression goals in mind for this village. And just like I mentioned earlier, I think stone is going to be a big part of that in terms of building pathways. I think it'd be nice to have all these things connected, because right now I've just got these little dirt trails. And they look nice, they do the job, but they don't feel very grand. Right, looks like the sun's going down. I'm going to hop to bed and we'll pick this up in the morning. It looks like we woke up super early. I don't think the villagers are up yet. Oh, hello. Sorry. Did I wake you? I think we woke him up. Where's the farmer? Hello? Where is the farmer? Hmm, that's weird. Maybe he'll turn... Oh, there you are. Where'd you come from? Did you just... I swear you just teleported. No, no, surely not. Hmm, but... Okay, it's getting too weird. I'm just going to go build. Let's let the villagers be weird. We'll just stick with what we know. We'll build a hill. We'll build a hill. We'll put a nice little pretty build on it. Easy. Nice and stress-free. We don't really want any spiders spawning under here, so let me just light that up a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about the front right now. We'll be able to smooth it out. Let's close these last little bits up, and then we'll see what the shape's looking like. Yeah, I think that's going to work. It does look really kind of jarring that there's a big stone part here, though, doesn't it? I'll smooth this bit out here, and then I think we're going to have to blend this part in a bit better. I want more of a curve coming around this way. Maybe drop that back by one, and then... Something like that should do. Well, we haven't really given ourselves much room for the blacksmith, so I'm going to curve this bit up like that. And we'll have it really sticking out. Yeah, I think it's going to make sense to do this because it gives us a natural reason to remove this stone, which I was going to do anyway. Why don't I bring this along like that? And then that part there could be where the blacksmith goes. Okay, yeah, I like that. Let's do it. Yeah, going to have to get rid of some more of these trees as well. This is good though, this is naturally just expanding the area. We don't want things too cramped, so I think it makes sense to just move all this stuff. Yeah, let's get rid of all this stone as well. I feel like it's really throwing the area off. We will get stone in, but 
as I mentioned, it'll be in the form of pathways instead. I've realized we've not really given ourselves enough space. So I'm just bringing this platform forward by one block at a time and just kind of trying to judge whether or not it's going to fit from there. I think this is good because it gives the hill a bit more weight. It doesn't look as flimsy. Oh yeah, okay, that's the one. We just need to get rid of some of these trees at the back because the leaves are protruding too far forward. I think if I just chop these ones down, it should sort it out. I feel like that's given the area so much room to breathe. What we'll do is we'll build the blacksmith and then any leftover space, we can just put the trees back down. But at least this gives us plenty of room to just do what we need to do, you know? What I'm going to do now though is grab some iron axes and then head down to our little tree farm area and start collecting the wood. Right, let's start with the big chunk. I do love these spruce trees. They give you so many resources, it's nuts. I just hope it drops enough saplings so that we can plant another one. It's usually okay though. The ones that give me the most hassle for seeds is the dog oaks. Those things are a pain in the butt. Again, let's try not to fall. We still don't have earth falling. Are we at the top? We are at the top. Made it. Oh, that ocean really does look scary, doesn't it? Maybe one day I can set sail in that direction, see what I find. That looks a bit daunting. We've only got one sapling. Wait, is that two? No, they're sticks. Please give me some more. Unless, did they land on top of the trees? I'm gonna have to get on top of the trees. This looks bad. Oh, there's one. Nice. Are you okay? What is with the animals in this place? They're acting very strange. Oh, another sapling. Nice. Come on, can we get one more? If we can get one more, that'll mean we can grow another big tree. Nope, I guess not. Let me just plant these down over here. Okay, time to grab this oak. Oak is really sparse around this part of the world. In fact, everything but birch wood is really sparse around this part of the world. Looks like it's getting dark. Let's go to bed. Time for the dark oak now. Yeah, these are the only ones that make me nervous as sometimes these sapling red can be quite poor. But as long as we get four saplings, we should be good. Okay, how many we got? Oh, wow. Uh, all right. We've got six of those two trees already. And we've still got leaves to go. Seven. How are the spruce trees looking? Uh, we got one grown. That's nice. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay. If we can get a twelve, that is probably the best yield I've ever gotten from two dark oak trees. Eleven. No way. We're on fourteen. I'm just going to get rid of these up here and make sure they break properly. It looks like they're connected to a little bit of wood somewhere, but I can't see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let me get up there and sort that out. 15. Can we get one more? If we can get one more, that's amazing. The last leaf. Come on. Give us a sapling. I believe. Oh, make sure none have fell down here. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. 15. Let's get these planted again. Want to make sure we spread them out as well. While we're waiting for those to grow, I'm going to head back into the windmill and feed the cows. Oh, you're back. Hello. Where'd you go? Hey, he doesn't want to talk. They never want to talk. Hello, ladies. Here we go. Nice and easy. We do need some more bread. It's probably best if we harvest these crops again. I want to make sure we get them before the farmer does. Okay, let's do the other side as well. Oh, this is a lot better since we filled all the gaps in. I'm glad we did that. There's actually quite a lot of wheat here. And I only really need it for feeding the cows, but every little helps. Let's plop all this in here again. I'm going to keep half of it so we can make some bread. Right, we've got some food. We've got the trees growing down there. I think I'm going to jump in the mines to kill some time and grab some diamonds. Although, how much iron do I have? Not a lot. I think there's some raw iron in one of the boxes that I can pick up. Yeah, let's smelt this raw iron down. Make some pickaxes and then we'll head down. I will make a proper mine shaft at some point. Although, this will do for now. I don't want to spend too long down here. We are really desperate for some diamonds. Now, this level's perfect for iron, but we're going to have to go quite a bit further down. And I did bring ladders, so we'll be able to get back up. But we've got quite a lot of digging ahead. Oh, nice. Okay, one. Let me light this place up. Two. Is that it? We get two. I'll take it. Considering we're not all the way down yet, that's pretty good. I would say I'm going to go down another 10 or so levels, and then at that point, we'll get a strip mine going. This should do. I'm just going to dig straight for a little while, see what we get. I'll probably just do this until the iron pickaxes break. Oh, we've got a tunnel. Make sure nothing drops on us from down here. Yes, yeah, just make this nice and safe. Redstone. Don't really need it, but I'll take the XP. Oh, we should probably get an enchanting station set up soon. Oh, nice. We didn't even have to go that far for this. Okay, I think that's enough diamond for now. Let's head back up top. We should have enough ladders to make it up to the top, but I've got spare wood if we don't. Is it night time? 
It's always nighttime coming out of mines. It's cursed. Okay, axe at the ready. I should really start bringing some shields. Oh, I hate this part. Okay, we're good. I need to make that safer. We need a proper mine shaft. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. What do you want? He's gone again. That is looking very empty right now. Trust the process. It'll be worth it. I'm going to go chop down some more trees and I would say I'm ready to build this thing. Oh, nice. They've all regrown. Okay, got ourselves plenty of wood. I just wondered, do we have any stone? Oh, we've got cobblestone. I'll just smelt that down. It's not like we don't have the charcoal for it. Some andesite would be nice too. I don't need too much of this, but I think a full stack would be nice. I've gone ahead and placed a bunch of items in our little project box over here. And this should be enough with plenty left over to build a blacksmith. Before we do that though, I just want to quickly go ahead and make our first proper diamond tools. I'm going to go with a diamond pick and do a diamond sword as well. Although we do need an axe. Hmm. Yeah, but swords look cooler. We'll go for sword. What have we got left over? Three. You know what? Let's do both. I should probably be saving this for armor. Nah, we'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen, right? We've got a diamond pickaxe, a diamond sword, and a diamond axe. You know what? I would say that's a pretty big success. I think it's time to get started on this blacksmith. I think I want the entrance to be about here. I'm going to do five. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to go back by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the end one, seven. Okay, how would that look? Yeah, let's go with that, because I'm going to have something coming off the left of it as well. All right, going to grab a bunch of different stone variants, and I'm just going to build it by four. And then we can come around with stuff like stone bricks. Okay, let's get some andesite in there as well. Yeah, that's going to be the base. Looks a bit weird though, doesn't it? Kind of messed the texture up there. Yeah, there you go. That's a bit better. Oh, where's the moss? We need moss. Got myself the trusty moss and hole combo. One, two, three, four. And then do this one higher. And go same on the other side of by four. One higher. Wait a second. Oh, it looks like I've done this too low. You bring those up. Big one in the middle. And I want to just carry this around all the way. I'm glad we got the diamond tools when we did. This type of stuff just burns through iron axes. I should really try and avoid getting fall damage where I can. This actually looks a little bit underwhelming. I think I'm just going to make this a little bit higher on the top. And then we get a cooler shape in with the roof. And then if we make some planks, I just want to add little spots of texture in. Just makes it look a little bit more rustic. A little bit aged. I'm not going to worry too much about this top layer because I think this is going to be covered. I need some more food, but I did forget we've not fed the cows for a little bit. Let me grab the weed out of here. Hey, ladies. And then I'm going to craft the rest into bread. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm already liking this coming out of the coming out of the windmill here. This is adding a lot of character to the area. I like it. I need to sort the texture out, though. Looks very messy. It's got to do around the sides here as well. Like I said, not going to worry about that top layer. So I'm going to cover it up anyway. Let's get a roof trim on this. Let's take the dark oak. Turn them all into planks. Probably made way too many there. Do I want to start here? Yeah, I want to start here. I'm going to come out by one. And we will have to delete these as we go. So let's just get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. And this is why I wanted to bring this part up a little bit. Uh, I think we can go by three here. Okay, and let's just bring this all the way along to the back. So I can repeat the same thing. Whoops. I love seeing these things slowly come together piece by piece. It's really satisfying. Oh, that is already a huge improvement. I'm really happy with that. Looks very tall. I am trying to make the builds look fairly similar. You know, we've got to kind of stick with the theme here. Although the windmill's a bit of an odd one out. But the house and the blacksmith at least look similar enough. Okay, I think now would be a good time to tie the top and the bottom together with a nice roof trim. I did prep these parts. I'm going to do... Let's take the dark oak, put them on each corner, just like that. 
And then if we put one on each side like that, we can connect it with a trapdoor in the middle. Should look nice. Um, not sure what I'm going to do on this side. I'll leave that for now. Well, if we can put a trapdoor there, 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 and there. Should look good. Lovely. All right, side of the build. What are we doing? And put one there. Maybe do that. Maybe do that. Ooh, okay. I know what we need. We need slabs. Craft a bunch of them. Should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay, see anything around the back. Stairs facing inwards and connect with the trapdoor. And then for this side it was stairs inwards, two slabs, and trapdoor in the middle. I think that's really helped tie the top and the bottom together. It's looking very clean. I'm a fan of that. I'm actually going to make some more dark oak trapdoors because I want to put some on the corners like this. I think that's all the trim needs. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let's get a space in for a door. I'm gonna have to bring this dirt forward a little bit. Little simple staircase at the front and a door to finish it off. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that for the bottom. I don't really want to go any more detailed than that. I want to keep it quite clean and simple. I do think we should put a window up top though. For a window area here, I'm going to keep it quite simple. I'm going to knock a little one by two hole in there. Go slab, double trap door, put some fences up and then come around the sides and just place some stairs on there. Same on the other side. Upside down stair and a slab. Then we take the glass that we crafted. You can pop that in there. Yeah, I would say that's the main part done. But we want a forge area on the left here. And I want to bring this roof down, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm just going to need a lot of dark oak slabs to do it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this shape. So if we just get a level with the rest of the roof, bring it all the way along. Get this filled in. And then run this trapped all on the edge. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, we've got a nice curve going on there. That's exactly what I wanted. Let me grab the rest of the andesite and stone. And then if we just bring this along by, say, a four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's looking good. I think we should make some stone brick walls just to use as pillars. Wait, don't we have a stone cutter? I think we've got a stone cutter in here. Oh, it's gone. Okay, we've lost a stone cutter. We'll have to do without. Make a bunch of them. And I'm going to do the same for the andesite as well. We'll not need that many, but I'm sure we'll use them eventually. Yeah, we can get rid of this trim on this side as well. We're not going to need it. Maybe keep that in. Looks good on the corner. What are you guys doing down there? Oh, what's happening? Um, I don't, I don't want to break them up. Should we be watching this? Why am I... There's a little one. Oh my. There's a little one. Are these guys just going to keep producing those things? Head's very big. He's jumping on the bed. That's, that's sweet. That's cute. We may need to control that. Otherwise, that's going to get out of hand very quickly. But on the plus side, our village is going to be booming soon. Okay, I'll take it. I guess I can deal with that later. For now, I want to just fill this roof in. And I'm just going to go with full andesite. I like this block. I think it looks good. And I think it kind of suits the whole blacksmith aesthetic that we're going to have going on. I do want to run Dark Oak along here as well. Just kind of close it in, similar to what we've done over there. Um, you guys realise there's not enough beds around here, right? And you're not having mine. I hear my kidneys having mine. Hey, look at this. We've got a whole little community going on. I'm going to call you... Alan. Yeah, you know what? I really like the underside. Nice and clean. What blacksmith is complete without a furnace area, though? I think we're just going to do a big chimney around this thing. Get those two on there. Um, I want some granite stairs. This, this will be good. Put them on the corners. And then... I think we need to have this going all the way up. Was it... I'm taking a guess here. Oh, nice. Trapdoor, trapdoor. This is looking a little bit bare. We can just get some different variations of granite in there. I think it'll be fine. We've only got five left, but it's probably enough. Yeah, just something changed up a little bit. And then final piece, we'll just put you over here. I did craft an anvil and a stone cutter that we can put down here as well. Just to add to the blacksmith aesthetic. 
little crafting bench and I would say that is done. Just need to get some stairs. Actually no, I'm going to knock those in one. Yeah, that's better. That is almost looking complete. I did want to go back onto the roof and add a little bit extra to the trim. I'm going to keep this very simple. Dark oak all the way along. And then one, two, three, four. I think that works. As happy as I am with that, I can't help but feel that this... Si Hello. I can't help but feel that this side of the build is just very lopsided. And I'm not quite sure what to put there. I don't really want to do another building or anything. So I think we're going to cheat a little bit here. Let me grab a bunch of slabs. A bunch of planks. This is kind of blacksmithy. Kind of. Let's put a bunch of barrels out front. You know, this is the blacksmith's supply line. You know, when he gets deliveries. Or something. Yeah, that'll... That'll work. I think that actually rounds off quite nicely. It just needs something on the side there. And I do mean to build a proper path, but until that day comes, we have to stick with this for now. That works. Bring it round like that. The only thing I'm not too content with right now is how grassy the sides look here. Now, I know the whole point was to keep it natural, but I don't think it would hurt to put a few stones in here. Even if it's just little things like that. And we could do a few around here too. And then if we grab some andesite slabs, we're going to have little rocks. Yeah, I think that helps break it up really nicely. For the inside, I just want to keep things nice and simple. I'm just going to plop a bed down. Little bedside table with a lamp. We can have a shelf here for flower pot. And an azalea bush in it. And then for painting. Ooh. Ooh, no. I suppose we can also add chests in here. We do have a lot of them. Um, so our little blacksmith can have storage. I did have some leftover blue carpet from when we done our house as well. So let me just get this down. Make it look a little bit more homely. And there you go. Nice little home. I did want to put a little bit of detail on the wall back here too. I just want to keep the symbol of some fence gates. Just like that. And I would say that is a complete blacks... Hang on. Hang on a second. Are you... Weren't you a baby, like, ten minutes ago? Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I guess you can stay here. You can be our blacksmith. Welcome home. This is a weird village. I would say all in all, that's a, that's a success. I'm happy with that. I think next we need to focus on getting some storage sorted. Or even an enchanting station. I don't know. There's lots of possibilities. Right now, though, I'm feeling sleepy. We've done a lot of work. I'm going to bed. Can I smell burning? Whoa, 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 whoa. How have we got another fire? Let's get this put out ASAP. That was so weird. Uh, what the heck was that? What do you mean, my fault? I had nothing to do with it. I was in bed. I noticed you've changed your clothes as well, by the way. You better watch it, buddy. I'm going to be keeping my eye on you. What on earth was that about? I think I need to speak to our cleric friend about this. Uh, anything you want to tell me about that fire? Yeah, that's what I said. It's nothing to do with me. Okay, well, I know we had that incident with the tree, but can you just do me a favor and keep an eye on that guy? I'm going to be quite busy over the next few days. Okay, this is getting really strange. First, we had the tree fire. Now the blacksmith was up in flames. What's going on in this place? One of these guys, or maybe more, reliant to me. Maybe they are just freak accidents. I'm just going to have to be extra careful around here. Make sure nobody's up to any shenanigans. Especially that guy, since he's new. Well, now that we're awake, we might as well go feed the animals. Hello, Mr. Farmer. How you doing? I see you flying there. They never really say much, do they? Just stare a lot. Morning, ladies. How are we doing today? Speaking to you like you're not in an inhumane death trap right now. There you go. Eat some wheat. Good stuff. I wonder, have we crossed the limit yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Plop them back in there. I wouldn't mind just harvesting a few of these as well while we're up here. Whoops. Sorry, Lilac. I'm just going to take the top layer of this farm today. I don't really need too much. Get them all replanted before we get told off by the farmer. Hey, I'm putting them back. Yeah, that's right. Keep walking. Let me just chuck these in here real quick. Bye, ladies. 
Okay, so we've recently got ourselves some nice diamond tools, which I'm really happy about, but they're quite weak at the minute. I want to get an enchanting station set up, but we don't really have a good source of experience to get high levels. So I'm thinking of making a nether portal to cross into the other dimension, and then we can just mine quartz. I don't want to spend too long in the nether, although some blackstone would be nice as well. But I want to put the portal inside of a nice house, so I think we need to pick a spot first and go from there. I'm a little bit undecided on where I want this thing to go. We're starting to fill up quite a lot of space in the village now. I'm thinking of putting it down here in the tree just in case any monsters walk through we want time to react before they get up to the main section here yeah i think this will do and then we can have a nice pathway going up the hill here we are going to have to clear all of these trees or to get them out of the way oh there's a beehive up there as well i don't really want to disturb that maybe we can leave that tree alone but all of these separating the village from this section down below they're going to have to go so let's get chopping i'm constantly going on about how much i like the birch wood but i've started to think lately that the village is starting to look a little bit samey we've already got similar style buildings and then all of the trees look identical so what i think i'm going to start to do is plant a bunch of different tree types around the village and then we'll get a nice variation in color now i'll probably build some custom trees as well but i think for the most part would be okay planting some normal orc and spruce trees what do you want to keep walking let's say the sun's going down let's hit the hair and we'll pick this up in the morning another beautiful day let's get back to it hey b i wonder does this guy live up there where's that beehive that one yeah we we'll leave that one alone that's definitely that guy's home let's get rid of this one I think I might possibly start on the pathways today as well. I do like the nice cozy vibe of the dirt paths, but we are spending a lot of time here lately, so I think it's only natural that we start progressing things. Okay, that's the beehive tree. Leave that one alone. Let me just separate the leaves here so they go away. There we go. Another thing I like about moving the trees is that we're getting more sunlight into the village. Because this was just really dense forest when we started and you couldn't see a thing. It was all just shadows. Why did I just find a dark oak sapling from that birch tree? What's going on there? It's a weird one, unless... Maybe these are dog oak leaves? Yeah, I think this is close to where we planted some trees before. Probably just got mixed up there. Right, how are we looking for space? Yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna move it I'm gonna move the tree line back just a little bit further. I kinda wanna get rid of that big tree there, because it's blocking a lot of sunlight, isn't it? Getting a big shadowy spot on the ground here. Yeah, let's get rid. Yeah, look how much better that's looking already, just with a little bit of extra sunlight. I think we made the right choice there. Okay, a few more trees and I'd say we're done. We've got an absolutely insane amount of birch wood in this village right now. Another good thing about chopping all these down is that I've just got so much birch wood in the chest. And I've just been transferring it all into the furnace where we're getting a bunch of charcoal out of it. Basically, got fuel will last us forever at this point. And we don't have to go mining for it, which is another big bonus. Right, how does that look? Yeah, that's definitely enough space. I'm only going to be doing a small building for this. I've never really been a fan of how the large spruce trees affect the grass here, though, with puddle. Let me grab a shovel. We'll dig this up and get it all replaced with some grass. I'm like 99% sure that we crafted the diamond shovel, but I just can't find it. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I'm making that up. It's time to dig. Do I get rid of the gravel as well? No, I'm just going to leave the gravel. I enjoy Podzil, I think it's got a time and a place, but unfortunately I just don't think this is the time or the place. Looks a little bit too muddy for what we're going for. Alright, it's all dug up. Let me grab some dirt. Oh, in fact, I think, I'm pretty sure Podzil just turns into dirt, doesn't it? Yeah, that's easy. The hard part is trying to remember where it all went. I guess we can just take a guess, can't we? There we go, that'll do. And let's curve this round nicely. Don't want to make it look unnatural. Yeah, it should look a lot better once the grass is all grown in. Although it doesn't really make sense to have this hole here. I'm just going to fill the whole thing in. I do want to elevate the ground a little bit for the build that we're going to be doing. So the land will dip down, come along here, and rise back up for the, for the house. Or for the nether portal, rather. Well, it's going to be a nether portal house. We've got 54 dirt in here. Oh, here we go. There's the jackpot. And what have we got? Yeah, that looks perfect to me. I think it's probably going to be best if I mark out the pathway towards the new portal, though. And then I know where to raise the ground. So let's just imagine we're coming from the farm. We'll go down here, along. And I would say the entrance will be about there. And then we'll have another path branching off. Let's connect up to this one here. Yeah, that'll work. Looks like the guys are checking out the new bit of land. Yeah, you better head to bed. It's getting dark. I think you best head to bed as well. We don't want you getting caught out here by any zombies. Bruh. Bro, where are you going? Bro. Bro. Oh, he's going to the bed. Okay, fair enough. I'll let you off. Is he? No, he's just been an idiot. Okay, I'll go to bed. Make sure nothing spawns. And then we'll start working on the land in the morning. I figured it's actually going to be a little bit tricky to plan the land out if we don't have the dimensions of the house down first. So I'm going to grab some stone and we'll get that sorted. Yeah, I guess cobblestone will do. Oh, we've, got, we've got more granite here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's going to mark out the front of a tower there. And then if we go back by one and then along by five. One, two, three, four, five. And back by one. That will be the front. Ah, oh, this is going to be quite a bit bigger than I'm thinking. We're going to have to knock some more of these trees back. In my head, this looks a lot smaller. But once we get the once we get the side on, yeah, this won't do. Okay, more trees. Yeah, that's definitely more space. I'm not sure if I've maybe shaved a bit too much off the back, but but we can always just replant the trees if we've decided this a little bit too much. Okay, let's get the side of this in. Just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Same on this side. I think I've brought this tower too far forward. Just knock that back by one. Bring that around. One, two, three, four, five. And let's just connect these up. Yeah, that'll be good. I don't even know why I filled that entire thing in. Again, this is purely for the sake of just marking the land out. So I'm just going to get rid of the middle part and we'll just keep the corners in. Do that. Do that. So that's what I'm working with. I think this should be fairly easy. All I'm going to do is stack the dirt up to there. We'll do this the same on all corners. I'm going to fill this in. And then we've kind of got a nice baseline here that we can just bring blocks to the side from like that. At least that way it's going to look like it actually belongs as part of the terrain. So we don't want it super square, so we'll just bring that along. Yeah, at least this way we definitely know it's going to be enough space. And we'll just do the same on this side. Connect it to this side. Oh, no, we're out of dirt. I'm sure we have more. But yeah, already that's starting to look much better. Ooh, while I remember, let's go feed the cows. Afternoon, ladies. How we doing? Are we cramming yet? We're not cramming yet. Soon. Oh, wow, yeah, this has really opened the village up. I like that. Just kind of made me wonder, though, where are we going to put everything else? Because we're kind of boxing ourselves in here in a circle. Ah, I'm sure we'll figure it out. We'll probably tear this land down at some point. There's a lot of building in there. In the future, when we've got, like, a nice pathway going in here, I do want something in the middle. Not quite sure what. Wouldn't be a building. Maybe, like, a fountain or something, you know? Anyway, where's that dirt? Keep getting distracted. Looks like we're going to have to go digging for some. Okay, let's make a few iron shovels. It shouldn't take too long. We did dig a hole down here beforehand. I'm not quite sure where we put it, but I can find that again. No! Oh, well. Where was it? You know, I'm fairly sure it was over here, right? Is this it? No. There's also a good chance that I just... Oh, wait, we've got crafting benches around here. There it is. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I dug these really big tunnels, and I thought they looked great. Never really see dirt tunnels like this. Okay, is it safe? Pretty sure it's safe. Let's get this lit up. In fact, let's just close it off. Make sure nothing comes out. Right, let's get digging. Again, same as before. I'm probably just going to stay here until all the shovels have been used up. Might as well stockpile as much as we can while we're down here so we don't need to keep coming back. There we go. That should see us through for a little while. We are starting to run low on bread, though. Hopefully that cow crammer won't take too much longer. Okay, where were we? Once we've got the grass down, I'm actually thinking of moving it along a little bit. Maybe I want to be able to get two builds on this platform later on. Like I said, I don't want to box ourselves in in a really small circle. There'll be ways to branch off, like we can go down here as well. Probably a good idea to do a little bit of planning ahead for that. I'm going to extend this out the back first. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to bring it all the way along here. And then we can just fill this in. And again, just to make sure this doesn't look too artificial. I'm going to bring this side of the hill around like that. Yeah, that's definitely getting there. Let's keep going. Let's sort the back out on this round. And I'm going to want to bring it along like this. I think we'll just connect this part up here. Make sure no spiders spawn in here. And then finally, we can get this filled in. Yeah, that's perfect. It'll blend a lot nicer once we've got some actual builds on there and some trees and grass and foliage and paths, all that type of stuff. So it looks a little bit bare for now, but we had the exact same thing when we built the blacksmith. We put the land on first and it just looked really stale, but that just looks part of the environment now. But yeah, that's good with me. I think it's time to get some actual resources and start plotting out the house. This one's just going to be stone and andesite, so if I grab as much as I can. Stone bricks. These are all just the leftovers from the other builds. I always craft too much, I need to stop doing that. I've got a lot of stone though, which is nice. Although it wouldn't matter, we've got enough charcoal to melt it all down. Okay, so I'm just going to mark this out again. So if we put the tower on the right, 
maybe knock us back a little bit. Put the tower on the right. It'll come out here. It'll go along by three. One, two, three. It'll come in by one. This will be the house. And then I'm going to have a staircase coming out. Which will go along by about five. And then the back of the build. We'll meet up with that. And the side of the build will start here. Come along by five. One, two, three, four, five. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Come along like that. Yes, there's the general shape. I want to put the nether portal in here, in this section. So I'm going to build this up. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Eh, maybe that's enough. No, let's do one more. Five. Oh, God. <sighs> Bruh. I nearly had a heart attack. For real. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to come up by two on this one. For a nice roof. Yeah, that'll work. Are we out of bread? We're out of bread. Hello, ladies. How are we doing? Came to get bread, but also to feed you. Okay, are we cramming? We ain't cramming. It's got to be getting close, though. Okay, I'm going to have to craft the rest of that into bread. And I might as well harvest this while I'm here. Where's the farmer? Why does this guy keep disappearing? He's done this twice now. Hello? Hello. Let's get these replanted and we can go have a look for them. Come to think of it. Where's the blacksmith? What's going on? Why's everyone running away? Is it my fault? Do I stink? Hello? Maybe they're inside. Hmm. I did see the farmer trying to walk down here before. Maybe he's got lost. There's beds everywhere. This probably doesn't help. They're probably attracted to these things. Oh my god. Oh, you idiots! What are you doing down there? Hello? Ah, oh, There's sheep in there as well. Why is, why is everybody walking in this hall? Alright, clearly this village is not idiot proof. We're gonna have to get all this filled in once we get these guys out. Come on, you idiots. You've lost your uniforms as well. That's right, get out. Alright, he's got his uniform back on. And it looks like farmer guy's happy over there. We should really get this sealed up. I don't want them dropping down it again. Sorry, sheep. You've not been chosen to leave. This thing's going to turn into a mob farm, but that's okay. What's this guy doing around my house? Stop staring at my logs. Right. Village is happy. Village is safe. You're not going anywhere. You're the good one. Let's get to work. I just want to build this tower up a little bit. I'm not quite sure how high it's going to go. I just want to be able to build a roof trim around it. I swear my texture is getting worse. Now, I'm pretty sure that I've got a bunch of dog oak lying around here somewhere. And it's good, because I'm going to need a dog oak. There we go. Uh, do we have our moss? Nope. Back to the house. Okay, I'm going to start the roof trim here. Like that. Get rid of you. Place some temporary blocks on the walls. And uh, this one's going to have to come up by two. And I want to do three here. Everything's got a dog oak trim, doesn't it? I think it works, though. And I'm going to want to do the same on this side. So, I'll start there. Might as well put the moss down first. Moss is such a good placeholder block. I love how you can just slap it away with your hands instantly. Great for scaffolding too. I love this stuff. And I think we'll keep it on the same level. So is it that one? Yeah, that one. Bring along by one. So it's sticking out of here. And if we just go at the top, we can do a very similar pattern. So if we go up by two, no, one, one, two, and then three. One, two, three. And then we're the same height as that. I don't often build the roof before the walls, but just seems to work this time. And if I've got the dimensions right, this should work, so... Go up by two. Hey, there we go. And then this can come all the way back. So we're sticking out by one. And up by one. Up by two. Up by three. One, two. One. And one. Wait, no! It's wrong. What's the easiest way to do this? There we go. I want to make sure I pick the moss up from the back here too. If you went on the floor, we don't want to let them despawn. Yeah, that's looking nice. I want to get all these walls filled in now. The biggest problem I'm going to run into with this build is that 
I want the roof to be made out of warped wood. So we can't actually build the roof until the rest of the structure is complete. And we've got the nether portal in there. There's going to be some stairs in the middle here. We can get this filled in. I think I'm just going to fill the walls in with stone bricks. And then we can go around and do the texture in afterwards. I always find it a little bit easier doing it that way. And I want to break a hole in here. I have a three high. We need some stairs. I need to go visit the blacksmith, get the stone cutter. I'm going to knock that up by one more. And then bring the walls down. Gives you a nice window effect. Like a church window kind of thing. I just want to get rid of some of this stone as well. Looks a bit too bland. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. I do need a way to get up this thing though, rather than hopping up the dirt every time. Let's plop some stairs in there. This is going to need to come out. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's get the walls in. Or rather, let's make this wall look a little bit better first. Let's have a nice splash of andesite there. Yeah, that works nice and easy. Let's do the same around the back again. I'm just going to fill it all in with the stone bricks first. And then we can just go around the back here and start knocking holes out. Splash of andesite there. I may put some windows on the side here. I've not actually got an interior plan for this thing. Oh, nice. That's really starting to come together now. So that means we're going to need some obsidian. Now, I don't think we have any yet, but we do have a diamond pickaxe and we do have a kind of a mine shaft. What are you doing? I see you. He thinks he's hiding. He's not hiding. Yeah, that's right, buddy. I'm onto you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just need to grab a quick little bucket of water here. I really need to make an infinite water source closer to the village. It's not ideal having to run down all the way to the ocean every time. I suppose I could make a quick well at some point. Probably is never going to happen. Yoink. Okay, let's hop down the mines. There we go. Show me the money. I really don't want to take any chances down here. So I'm going to go layer down. And put the water there. And then this way when we break the obsidian, the water should just flow in there before we do. So if there is any... Nice. So if there is any lava, we should be safe. Ooh. There we go. Nice to know it worked. It does also protect the obsidian from dropping into the lava and being destroyed too. So all around, everybody's winning. I'm not quite sure how much of this I'm going to need. I'll maybe grab 10 or 15, should be enough. I ended up grabbing about 21 in the end, which took a long time, but I think it'll be worth it just in case I wanted to go a little bit bigger at the top. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We can always just skimp on the corners as well. If we don't have enough. But it's looking good actually. I'm going to go all the way to the top here. Okay, I'm just going to grab some flint and steel and go straight to the nether. Mainly because I want to finish this roof, but I don't want to do it without any warped wood. A little bit risky going in there with iron gear, but I believe. I think we'll be fine. We don't have any gold. That's the only thing that's worrying me. I'm just going to have to count on finding some once we're in there. Do I have a shield? I should at least get a shield. Okay, let's get this thing lit. Whew, a little bit nervous. Oh, that looks so cool though. Let's go. Let's get, let's get a good spawn. What we got? Ooh, you know what? This ain't too bad. Just making me a little bit nervous though, being around the crimson, because we may get some angry pigmen coming after us. Ooh, actually, never mind, there's some gold. That was lucky. Okay, I'm glad we brought some extra wood with us. Let's make a quick furnace out of this. Oh wait, no, that's not how you do that. That's how you do that. Okay, we've only got two. I think it's four for boots. Can we get a little bit more before going into the forest? That would make me feel a lot better. We did get quartz though, which is nice. That's mainly one of the reasons we came. Whoa. Okay, never mind. Okay, I think we're going to have to go this way. I don't really want to cross this bridge, but I don't see any other way. It's kind of hard not to look down right now, but I really wish I did not look down. That is scary. Is that... <gasps> no way. No way. Oh, oh. Oh, the range on those things. How much gold was that? 12? Okay, I need six more bits of gold. I can hear angry pigmen. They're up there. Okay, I need to stay away from that. Come on. Yes. Easy. Okay, where's that gold? There it is. Oh, why'd it have to be over the cliff? You know what? We've got this. Crafting bench. Why didn't I pick that up? Right, I feel a lot better now. 
Looks like we've got some warped over there. Still need to be careful of the hoglins. I think that's what they're called. The guys with four legs instead of two. Gotta watch out for these guys. Okay. It's warped wood right there. Make sure there's no hoglins. We good? I think we're good. Maybe some of this will look good for the wall. I didn't bring my hoe with me, but... Oh, did I? No, I didn't bring my hoe. I'm going to grab a few of these things. This must be the smallest warped forest I've ever seen. Honestly, though, I ain't even mad. Seems safe, which is all I really care about right now. As long as we get enough. Okay, I'm calling this. That should be enough. Oh, get the moss. Okay, let's head back to the portal. Wait, which way was it? Oh, it's down there. Oh, we're going to the ghast. Miss. We can't really... Oh, we can't leave until we get this guy. Because we need to get back across that platform. Where's he gone? I think he's despawned. Oh, there's another... Okay, there's more warp forest down there. That's nice. Right, let's get out of here. And sprint. Ooh, I don't like it. Oh, thank God we're home. Very dark, though. Let's get to bed before something spawns in here, too. I've seen enough monsters for one day, I think. A bit horrifying, but all in all, I would say that was a successful trip. How's everyone doing in the village, though? Blacksmith, you're good. Farmer? Oh, no, not again. Oh, there he is. Okay, no, we're fine. Okay, we can get this roof in now. And then once we've got the roof in, we'll be able to finish that tower. Okay, let's craft all this warped. And then for this, I'm just going to run it along like that. And make sure everything meets in the middle. Should be a fairly easy one. I do regret crafting all of these in the warp planks because I was going to use some of the stems, but hey ho. Little bit of a mistake, but I don't think it's worth going back into the nether for. We'll just have to deal with it. Okay, same again on this side. This sound's going to get way too annoying trying to work on this. There we go. We can turn that back on when we're done. I guess we don't actually need warped wood here because the tower's going to cut inwards. Let me just remove this. We'll keep that there, though. So we're going to need to go like that, that. And this is just going to be a little 3x3. Three three. Not much to it. Connect all these up. Yeah, how am I doing this part here? I guess that would just come along like that, wouldn't it? Because that's the... Yeah, that goes up by two there. Nice, I like that. Again, bit of a shame that we convert all the planks, but it'll do. I just want to do the same on the other side here. We're getting very low on food again. I need to keep remembering to feed the cows. Hello, ladies. Have still got the wheat? I do still have the wheat. How are we doing? Are we cramming yet? We still ain't cramming. It's got to be getting close, though. I'm going to have to craft this into... Although we do have steaks on us. Let me just plop that back in there. I'd rather not use the wheat if I didn't have to. Is this a bit wrong, eating steak in front of cows? Probably. Let's leave. For every build that goes up, I just feel like the village is coming more and more to life. Like, I love just walking out of buildings like this. And just having, like, more in my peripheral vision. It's great. Probably want to light this up. Make sure nothing spawns while we're putting the roof on. Although, I'm not sure that's how it works anyway. I think you need to be a fair distance away for monsters to spawn in. Bring this warped all the way along. And the reason why I left this at the top here... Is I wanted to bring the dark walk along, but we ran out, so I'm going to have to go get some more. And then, similar to the other buildings, I just want to run a fence post along the top here. I just really like how this looks. I think we can focus on getting that tower done now. Obviously, it's going to have to be quite a bit taller, but I can grab the materials. And for the top, I'm going to ma I'm going to make it granite and spruce. I just want to start by bringing this a little bit higher, maybe by just two blocks. And then if we get some spruce stairs on the sides here, and I brought some trap doors, so we can get a nice little trim on here. And then one more over here. I also went and grabbed some granite. Go up like this. By two. Grab our granite walls. Pop them there. One on top. And there we go. Nice little simple tower, that one. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I did also bring some glass so we can pop a window on this thing. Let's do it from here. One, two, three. Just gonna put a trap door on top of there as well. And I wonder if we've got any azalea bushes lying around. No, I don't think we do. I think an oak leaf might have to be the one. Do we even have any oak leaves? We don't have any oak leaves. We don't even have much oak wood. We should really be planting more saplings. I need to get into the habit of just planting trees while working around the village. Oh, there's oak trees right here. Thank you. Have those always been there or did I plant them? 
I must have planted them. Yeah, tricky one there. Done. Ta-da! And they did also bring a door. I can plop that in and get that lit once again. There we go. What are you doing down here? You better not be wandering off again. Yeah, that's right. Get back to the village. Oh, I really like this one. There's quite a bit of dead space there, though. I think I'm going to grab a chain and maybe put a lantern there just to fill the gap in. Oh, I had a thought. It actually makes a lot of sense to put a soul lantern here. I should have grabbed some while we were in the nether. There you go. That's the one. Oh, I'm loving the look of that thing as soon as we come out of the house. That's brilliant. A little bit of regret spaghetti, though, because I do kind of wish I put it a little bit further to the right, because then we could have slapped another build to the left of it. But hey-ho, it is what it is. I don't really need this one to have an interior, to be honest. I wonder what it would look like if we just filled all this in. Yeah, there's not really too much room in here. Maybe we can repurpose that one later, but to be honest, it's all just an excuse to put the portal in. Oh, I've just had an idea, actually. I need to go grab some chests. And there you go. This can just act as our little storage room for our nether materials. Because we're about to go back in there again soon and get a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. The only thing left to do now is to link the pathway up properly. It's still a little bit messy over here. And I think that hill's just a little bit steep there too. I think what I want to do for this one is grab some warped wood planks. And it makes sense in the context that leading up to the farm, there's cobblestone. Leading up to the blacksmith, there's stone bricks. So I think it would be a nice idea to just put some more planks down like this. Uh, if we can grab some dirt and just... Kind of hold that in a little bit. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. And then we can go with some regular old path blocks here. Make it look like it's all worn down. Fill this out a little bit. And we're going to have to push this back so it's not as steep. Should be fairly easy to do, but we're going to have to make it work with the rest. We'll have to wrap it around here. And again, I'm not sure how long this is going to last because I do want to get some storm paths in properly soon. Okay, that should do it. We can bring this part in a little bit. Just curve that round. Just replace that with dirt. Fill it all in. Yeah, that's looking much better. It's going to look a little bit weird if we've got warped planks right in the middle of the village though it would look a little bit strange having them right here so let me grab that spruce wood make some planks out of that and just get this all filled in yeah there we go i think that works nicely we are looking a little bit bare around the edges though i really wish i had a skeleton farm that would make life a lot easier yeah i don't have any bone meal at all we do have a pair of shears though so let's just go manually pick up some grass maybe grab a lilac or two Here we go. I just want to pick these parts of grass up. Right, let's start filling this in. I want to put little bits of grass around the side here. Just so it doesn't look as flat from the front. Okay, let's get some lilacs down. Uh, one in the middle here will do. Get a dandelion down, some pink tulips. Oh, looks like we're out of food again. Afternoon, ladies. How are we doing? Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry. Okay, now the food crisis is over. Oh, it's so beautiful. I am getting these things straight in the furnace. It's still just a little bit too clean down here. So I'm just digging some holes out that we can place bits of coarse dirt into. Just to add a little bit of roughness to the area. Get them all plopped in there. Yeah, that's already starting to make a difference. I'm going to do a few up here. And I wonder if we just put some leaves down at the bottom here. And then let's just get this all squared up like this. Connect that probably to the blacksmith. And then let's make sure this is all tied up nicely with the farm as well. Some slabs in there. And just on the outside like that. And this leads up here. Get this connected. And there you go. I think that works. Doesn't look like any new villagers are going to join us today, but luckily, we don't need one today. This house is going to be unmanned for now. It's going to act as a little storage room for the nether. I'm happy with it. I think it adds a lot to the area. I really like doing this. I like just going into another building, walking out, and then seeing everything come together. I think it just looks great. Oh, that is perfect. Look at that. That's so cool. I love that. Yeah. Okay, I'm really happy with where that is now. Going to be a little bit of a squeeze getting more buildings in. We'll manage. Not bad for a day's work, or several days. Quite a lot of days, actually. I've been here for a very long time. Oh! Oh! Whew. Okay, it was a dream. Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, the village is fine. Oh, I need some fresh air. Oh, God! What are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. No, you've got nothing to worry about. I'm keeping us safe. Oh, uh, you know what? 
Whatever. He doesn't have any right to say that. I'm going back to bed. Oh, well, I couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't stop thinking about what our blacksmith said. Maybe I should go talk to the cleric about this. Have you spoke to the blacksmith today? Do you have any idea what's going on? But I'm making this place as safe as possible. I can't stop thinking about my dream last night. And these guys don't really seem to feel like the village is safe anymore. And that can't be a coincidence. So I think it's my responsibility to up the security a little bit. And I'm thinking of doing that by adding a watchtower somewhere in the village. Maybe somewhere high up behind the house. What about around here? Okay, maybe not this side. I think the hills look a little bit too steep. It's going to be quite a struggle to get something on this part. We could always try the other side though. Let's have a look this way. Okay, this looks a bit more flat. Yeah, this would probably work, actually. We build a structure here, have a watchtower coming out the top of it. It would mean we'd have to clear all these trees and get a nice pathway leading down to the bottom. And then maybe once the watchtower's in, we can start to think about putting an entire wall around this place. I do still want to add some more buildings, though, which I'll save for another time. Probably extend the village down into that direction there. Okay, yeah, but for now, I'm going to focus on clearing up this rubbish, getting a nice pathway up to the top of the hillside there, and plopping a nice little watchtower on top of it. There are still a few things we need to take care of before we start that, though. Morning, ladies. How are we doing i want to make sure we feed these as much as possible so that we can keep getting leather i do want to start enchanting tools but it's going to be hard to do that without bookshelves okay there we go that's looking good right how are we going to do this i've grabbed some cobblestone so i can mark out the general path i think if we just bring it up here maybe curve it around this side go along and then up get a nice curve on the whole thing you can bring it up to here come along there and let's just say the front door will come here where this hole is. We can probably put that inside, actually. Yeah, I think that'll work nicely. Probably going to have to bring this hillside out just a little bit, but not too much. And yeah, if we remove all these trees, it should make a nice space for it. I'm going to start with the big ones at the top here. Oh, I should probably get the moss. I swear the moss supply is getting lower and lower. I must be losing a block or two every time we use it. Okay, here we go. Whoa. That's dangerous. Should we maybe do this? Yeah, let's get that filled in before somebody drops down it. And by somebody, I mean me. Okay, I'm going to stack to the top of this tree and start clearing the area. I think this is going to be a good opportunity to start getting some proper stone paths in the area too. In fact, while I'm chopping these trees, it will make a lot of sense to put a bunch of stone in the furnace so we can get some stone ready for the paths. I've got a little bit of stone here, but not too much. So I'm going to chuck these in here, and I'm going to pop into the mines for a little bit and get a few stacks of stone. I don't want to go too far down here. I would say uh, this is probably far enough. We can just make like a little offshoot. Yeah, this will do. Let's get some light down and start digging. I don't understand why the villagers suddenly don't feel safe. I've not had any complaints so far. And it's not like we've had any threats break into the village either. Although, come to think of it, I never did get around to asking where they came from. Maybe I should have that conversation with them. Although, if they're already starting to feel a little bit anxious, probably it's best not bringing it up just yet. Yeah, that should do for now. I don't really want to use the entire pickaxe up in one go. And besides, we've got pretty narrow roads, so I think that should be fine for the path. Whoa. Hang on. That's not okay. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to go back inside the portal. I'm going to have to ask you to go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. None of that. I hope the villagers didn't say that. They're already freaked out now. Speaking of villagers, where is everybody? Hello? Hello? There's the mason. What's he up to? Uh, excuse me. Hey, I'm talking to you. All right, whatever. Oh, it looks like he's going back to the village. That'll do me. I know what his problem is. Yeah, back to work. What about the farmer? Where's he at? I don't see him. Oh, whatever. They always turn up in the end. They are creeping out the village a lot more, though. Pretty strange behavior. Right, anyway. Let's get this stone in here. Take you out. Plop you in. Lovely. And if we get back to chopping trees, that would be nice. Um, I'm going to remove this one. I think I'll probably get rid of all of these between this space and the house. I know I've been making quite a big deal about wanting to replant trees, but honestly, I think the village looks a lot better without them. Opens up a lot more space for the builds. Yep, sorry trees, you're gonna have to go. At least I'm doing it humanely. I could do what everybody else is doing around this village and just setting them on fire. Well, I shouldn't blame the villagers for that. I don't know what's happening with those fires, but I'm not starting them. Um, 
I guess we can probably leave that one there, can't we? I'm sure we don't want to get rid of all of them. This cast quite a big shadow on the house, though. I'll leave it for now. I'll see what it looks like when all the others have been taken down. Can always change my mind. Okay, I'm going to pillar up here. There is a lot of rubbish on the floor now. I'm going to pick all this up. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's already looking so much better. This is what I mean by it just gives the village room to breathe. I never realised before just how badly the trees were cluttering everything up. I kind of want to get rid of these ones now, too. All right, which ones have we got left? Yeah, I was going to leave these ones alone around the back, but I think they're going to have to go as well. Oh, this one's a big one. I'm going to pillow up to the top of this one first. Okay, yeah, we can leave those ones alone. I think there should be enough on this side now. Once the leaves disappear. Unless, are these touching? No, they're not. They're going to disappear. Oh, yeah, I really love being able to see the portal from here. And the blacksmith. Kind of see the farm. Not quite, though. I wonder, does that mean we should get rid of those trees as well? This is something I want to do with this part of land here. I'm just not sure what. Like, this hill in particular has been staring at me funny for a little while now. I feel like now is a good excuse to get rid of it. Purely because it just obstructs the view of the farm. But then you also don't want to risk making the area too flat, you know? All right, looks like it's getting a bit dark. I'm going to head to bed. Okay, how are we looking? So much better. Yeah, I really like that. Might as well feed the cows while we're down here. Morning, ladies. How are we doing? That's right. Don't think about it. Just go towards the light. Oh, you love to see it. Getting a little bit low on wheat. I don't think it'll hurt to just pick all these up right now. I think once we get another building or two into the village, it might be a good idea to extend these fields. We're getting more mouths to feed, yet the food supply has pretty much stayed the same since the start. So yeah, I'm not going to start today, but I think some proper wheat fields are on the to-do list. So where did I say I wanted to build? I said this was going to be the front door, didn't I? So these trees are going to have to go. So are those, and I guess those are as well, because we're going to have to bring the land forward and maybe slope it down that direction. So yeah, let's start by chopping this big one down. Ooh, hang on. We should really check on the stone. Nice. Oh, we're getting full stacks here. You love to see it? Let me just top those up. Right, where was I? These trees here. Get rid of all these logs in the ground too. Front door here. I see how these ones are going to have to go back a bit as well. I think that'll do. I don't plan on bringing this tower too far back. Hold on, no. Let's just get rid of that one, that one, and that one. And then we can start plotting the actual build out. Is that a beehive? Oh, oh, no. I always feel bad about taking these things down. I guess we don't need to remove this one. we we'll probably stop at this tree here. There we go. We can leave him attached to that. How are we doing on stone? Yeah, not bad. I'm going to top these up. I should probably get a separate chest set up for these things as well. Let's make a double chest real quick. Hello. I do keep forgetting we have a little storage room. Let me just plop them all in there. Same with the wood as well. I think we should get rid of that. It's always clogging our inventories up. Okay, I think we've finally got enough space freed up over here. Okay, time to start marking things out. So I just want to get the dimensions down first. So let's imagine this is the front door. I do have an idea of what I want to build. So if we go one, two, three, four. Yeah, then we've got three in the middle. And then on this side, I want to go one, two, three, four, five. Let's bring that up so it's level. And I am going to have a little bit sticking off the side here too. Like I said, I already know what I want to build. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to come back by four. So I've got... One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's going to be the general dimensions. Okay, we're going to have to go get a bunch of dirt now to fill the gaps in. Oh, good. We've got loads. Lovely. I'm going to do this the same way that I usually do it, which is just matching the dimensions first, and then I can expand outwards from there. Then at least we know it's definitely going to fit on. This back part here is nice and easy. You can just fill this in. I am going to do all layers as well. Doesn't really make too much of a difference here. And if we just want to bring this around, we can just wrap this the whole way around, actually. Maybe those trees are going to have to go as well. They're casting a bit of an ugly shadow on this place. Yeah, I think I will get rid of them. Not not quite yet, though. For now, I just want to bring this out a little bit more. I've put some torches in, because I am just going to be covering this part over. Bring it around so it's nice and curved. I don't mind if this part's a little bit steep. Just want to kind of blend it in a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a lot better now. Just push that initial tree line back. The shadow shouldn't be too bad when the stun starts to get low. Let me just pick all these saplings up. Okay, yeah, I would say that's the land source. Now, I think it's time to start prepping the items for the build. We do have some spruce wood, but not as much as I'd like. So I'm going to go plant a few chungai down here. I would say two would be enough. Well, I think I planted some spruce along here as well. Yeah, we did. Okay, great. I can start chopping all this stuff while the other ones are growing. A lot of tree chopping today, but it's going to be worth it. Ooh, looks like the big boys are starting to grow now. 
Let's get on this. Honestly, I wish all trees done this. It would make resource gathering so much easier. Ah, uh, it looks like the other ones have grown while we were up there, but honestly, I don't think I'm even going to bother. This build that I've got in mind really shouldn't take too much wood. Yeah, there's something about this village just all being grass and gravel and dirt. It doesn't look too fancy, does it? Yeah, I think that's next on the to-do list. Once we get this build sorted, I'm going to start doing the proper storm paths. Make the place look all fancy. Right, I'm going to clear my inventory, and then I think it's time to get building. I'm going to keep the spruce logs. Hello? Is that... What are you doing up here? Can these guys climb ladders? What? Where's your uniform? I was wondering where you were. Hey, you're supposed to be down there. What are you doing up here? How am I even supposed to get this guy down? Unless... Sorry about this, buddy. Go on, get outside. Get outside. Go on. Skit. Get. Clearly we can't trust these guys around beds. Where's he gone? You know what? Let's just let him get on with it. As long as he's safe, not hurting himself, he's fine. Oh, the farmer's back. That's good news. Oh, speaking of, let's go feed the cows. Good afternoon, ladies. I've got some lovely wheat for you. Now, I know there's more hungry ones in there, but it's just so crammed I can't quite get in. Well, we're getting a nice little collection going. Still not cleric. Where is that guy? I've grabbed myself a stone cutter and some stone as well. We're going to need it. This build's just going to be spruce and stone. It's going to be fairly straightforward. Let me smear a crafting bench. Put that down. Okay, we're ready to go. Right, so I'm going to pretend that this is the door here. Just so I don't get, just so I don't get confused. Why don't we just put a door on there anyway? There we go. Okay, I'm going to turn this stack into stone bricks. And we'll just work with that. Oh, actually, do I have any andesite? That would be nice. Fairly sure we've got quite a bit. Okay, none in there. What about down here? Doesn't look like it. All right, I guess we're going to have to do some digging for andesite real quick. In fact, I'm pretty sure there was an andesite deposit in that little hole we dug earlier. Let me just go check that out. Oh, there it is. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was around this corner. Oh, yep. I really don't think I'll need more than a stack of this stuff. I'm just going to use it for a little bit of texture. In fact, I'm going to call it half a stack. I think that'll be more than enough. I could have picked it all up. Would have been nice for later. That would just make too much sense. Okay, let's get this organized. We've got stone, andesite, and stone bricks. Let's just start going around and randomizing as we go. Okay, bring all that along. I'm going to get rid of these cobblestone bits as well. Actually, I've just had a different idea. I'm going to push this one back, just like this. Yeah, then I'm going to have a tower coming out the front starting here. I'm going to go up by eight. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough. Do the same on the other side as well. Hmm. You know what? No, that's going to be a bit narrow. I'm going to separate these by an extra block in both directions. Yeah, I'm going to start there and there. And we got three in the middle. That looks a lot better. So I've got two in the side for a little sticky outfit. And yeah, this will do as well. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And I'm just going to one, two, three. Pop you there. And then do the same on this side and just stack them up again. Make sure that's level. Looks about right. Okay, I'm going to craft some barrels. Don't need loads of these. I think I'm going to go with... Well, I think I'm going to go with eight. I'll have four on the bottom and four on the top. Plop you in there. One there. Another one around the back. And perfect. Then we got the same on the top. Yeet! Yeah, something like that. Now, I don't know which order I want to do the next part in. I want to put a trim around the top. Just not sure if we should build the walls up first. Probably going to be easy if we do build the walls up first. Let's do that. Let me get all the stone back in order. And I'm going to come around the sides here like this. I'm just going to build them all up with stone brick first. I feel like it's usually easier doing that. And then we can go around and do the texturing afterwards. Oh, wait, I'm doing this. No, this is wrong. This needs to come out by one more. Okay, same around these sides. In fact, why don't we just do them both together? At least that way we don't have to jump off twice. I'm actually going to knock these bottom four layers out. I want to do something with spruce trapdoors instead. Where's the stone cutter? Let's make some stairs out of them real quick. Pop them there. Bring them up like that. Okay. Get 
them all closed. Don't need that one. Oh wait, we did need that one. Yeah, okay, plop a door in. Ah, oh, we must have had the door in back to front before. That fits a lot better now. Let's get this lit up too. Yeah, that works. Nice. Then maybe trap doors on the side and the top there as well, just to kind of round it off a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. Okay, let's start getting some different blocks in here. In fact, it makes sense to put a window in as well. Let's do that. Okay, I just want to tidy the texture up on the sides here. Nice little blotch of andesite. Same on the top. Right, I want to work on this trim now. Get a bunch of slabs. Yeah, that should be enough. Need a bunch of trap doors too. Grab our moss. And let's pillar up. Okay, I'm going to start bottom half. Climb up like that. I'm just going to repeat that on all the sides. So we've got lower half, lower half. Bring it up. Add a temporary. Whoops. And then trap doors. Again on the back. And then just one more on the side here. Well, we started the day with 21 moss blocks. We're now on 16. Like I said, these things just keep disappearing. I like that, though. It's looking good. In fact, we might as well just start the next part now. I think we've got enough materials on us. Okay, we got... A little bit more moss now. Oh, we should have brought the stone cutter. Okay, I'm going to have to go get it. Could probably do for a little bit more stone as well. I also remembered that I'm going to put a flag on top of this thing. So I grabbed some red dye. So I'm just going to make some red wool out of this here. Wait, how do you do this again? Like that? Okay, I'm going to make some red wool like that. Oh, we only got two. Is that how that works? It's okay, we've got more puppies. All right, let's chuck all them together. And let me just grab a bunch of that stone. Okay, I should have enough materials now to get this thing built. While we're at the bottom, I'm just going to chuck this glass in. And let's get back on top. Oh, I've left the stone cutter again. The whole reason we came down in the first place. Yoink. Okay, I'm going to put a stair there, a stair there, and an upside down one. I'm going to repeat this on all of the sides. Stair, stair, upside down stair. And one more time. I would like to put some oak leaves on these two. Good to do that. And then if we start there, bring that round. I'm going to go up by five from here. So one, two, three, four, five. I think. Was that five? One, two, three, four. That was four. Five. Yeah, something like this. Although, let's leave it open for windows. Let me just build this up here. Close that up. And then we can go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same on this side. And I'm just going to do a similar trim of slabs on the top and then trapdoors in the middle. And I'm just going to repeat that on all of the sides. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to go for something slightly different. I'm going to leave the bottom trap door in though. So we can put that back. I'm going to put a slab on top of these. And then surround with trap doors. At least that way it's a little bit different to what we've got below. Now I'm just going to build this up here. I'm going to want to go stairs on each side. And I'm just going to bring this up a little bit by... Probably just by that actually. And that'll do. Let's get this stone cutter down. single granite wall. Now we can have a little flagpole here. Not quite sure how I want to do this. How much red wool do we have? Nine. I'm going to go one, two. Plop you there. I'm going to bring that down. And then if we can have just one more coming off the corner. Like that. That'll do. I do want to go to the top though. Just for a little spruce fence on top as well. Right. How does that look? Ooh. Okay. Okay. I do like that. Flag looks a little bit weird though from this angle, doesn't it? I wonder if that is just the angle though. But it looks fine from here. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, let's go to bed and continue this in the morning. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so far. I think it's going to look good once we get a proper path in for it as well. Okay, this next part is purely just to make the building look a little bit thicker. I'm going to bring that up by five. Randomize the blocks up as we go. That'll do something like that. And then all I really want to do here is just bring spruce slabs along and just close this in. Make sure nothing spawns in there too. a little hole in for a window and uh, maybe one higher yeah already that's making it look like more of a complete structure i'm just going to do the same on this side as well we just randomize the blocks up for a little bit do we have any andesite left we've got five blocks i'll do i'm going to bring us by one more no i think that's high enough i think this is maybe one block too long i'm going to take this out here i'm actually going to push this back one layer because this back end is looking really flat yeah something like that i think it should help and we should have enough slabs to just run this along here and if I've got the dimensions right, this should just meet in the middle. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Just bring this along.
Yeah, that's looking much better. Problem is, though, the gravel in the hill really blends with the stone there, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to take that out. It doesn't help that the shadow is casting on the back of it either. But yeah, let's remove this. Yeah, already before we've even put the dirt back in. That's clashing a lot less now. Let me just go grab some dirt. I think we can maybe chuck a window in here. Do need to fill this in too. We are looking a little bit flat here. Maybe if we just grab some stone brick stairs. I mean, just chuck them on the side here. And then I think we can just have a little storeroom in here. If I grab a few barrels, we can fill that up. Place them in there, like that. Maybe get a chest or two in there. And last but not least, let's chuck a door on. And I'm thinking for the top here, we can just do a simple stair design. Maybe add a slab on top. Uh, we can put one there as well. Right, now we need to sort the inside out. Now, this is supposed to be a watchtower, so we're going to have to find a way to get to the top. So maybe if we just bring this down, then we can get a ladder on there. Let's break this open. I'm going to put a trap door there instead. And we can get on top. So we do have a nice area here where we can see out the windows, but it's a little bit cramped. I think it makes sense to maybe push these through. I don't think we'll have a window on there. Maybe get rid of that. Bring that up by one. Maybe put trap doors on the side like this. And then we can add some fences across. And there you go. That gives us a nice little balcony area where we can watch over the village. We do need something on here though. I'm trying to think what would fit. I suppose we could maybe just leave that there. Let's see what it looks like from below. Oh yeah, that actually looks better than I thought it would. Although I'm not sold on that block there. I think we can maybe put a spruce stair there instead. Okay, it's going to make more sense to just pillar up this way rather than go up the ladder. Okay, I can already tell a stair's going to be too thick. Let's try the slab instead. There we go. Let's get a look at that. Oh yeah, that's much better. The window doesn't look out of place either, so I'm happy with that. The only thing I need to do is take some of those stone bricks out and just replace them with regular stone. It makes sense to do that from the inside. Yeah, something like that'll do. Yeah, I like this. We've got a really nice view up here. Let's get a torch in there, though. Make sure nothing spawns. And if we just pick this up as well, we can put a nice flooring down. Get the door in there. Perfect. We can get rid of that now, too. I've grabbed some oak logs. Because I think this spruce here just looks a little bit too clean. I'm just going to cut a few of them out, and then we can just slot them in. So yeah, we've got a little storeroom around the front. We've got our main entrance to the watchtower up here. Oh, we still need to do this part as well. I guess it would make sense to just knock this wall in here. And then we've got a little bit of extra space. And I think we can get away with just putting a little crafting bench down and a bed for whoever's watching this place. And there we go, just create a little archway. Make it look kind of cosy. I'm thinking we could probably add something else to the front here as well. Although we probably want to put stairs there instead. Like so. Then we can add trapdoors on the tops of those. Trapdoors underneath. Let's bring this down to the bottom. Let's see, is that too much? No, I think that works. Although that looks a little bit strange. I wonder, does that need to be a stair? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Although I do think now this throws it off having stone here. Let me just get those in there. Probably bring them down by one more as well. Maybe all the way. Oh, that's the one. What does it look like if we go a little bit higher? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think having the archway there just kind of ties that top part in. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that. Okay, now we can get started on the pathway. Let's just say it comes along here. Again, this is going to be, this is all going to be stone. I just want to mark it out first and down through here. We'll remove all this rubbish, I think. We'll finally get rid of the chest monster and the furnaces. And then, yeah, that's just going to lead up nicely to our watchtower over there. I think I want to start from the bottom. Let's start by getting rid of these. We've served as well. It's time to say goodbye. We can move all this junk into the house now too. We really do have a lot of rubbish. I think it's probably a good time to tear this down too. And then I think that's most of the rubble out of the village. We've still got a burned down house over here. But for the most part, it's looking all clean now. I'm just going to remove these fence posts from the campsite as well. Okay, I've made a few iron shovels. It's time to start pulling the grass up. I'm going to go with a fairly narrow path, I think. I think three wide will be enough. Okay, let's see how this would look. We'll just go with stone brick first, then we can knock parts out of it later. These parts here would have to be slabs.
Okay, I just want to say this has barely started and we've not even added any decoration or proper texture and all shape to it yet. And this is already looking so much better than the dirt paths we have going. Yeah, it looks so much more official. I'm really excited to get this done. Okay, I'm just going to start from the top here. Put some slabs down. And then it'll be easy to know where we need to put the full blocks. Looks like this part gets a little bit too steep, so we're going to need some proper stairs. Oh, but then it's still too steep. Okay, there we go. It is very narrow, so we're going to have to do some decorating around the sides, but for the most part, I think this looks great. Now we can go in and just start knocking holes that we can use to fill in with stone and andesite. Just to change the texture up a little bit. We don't want it all stone bricks. I've decided to come back down to the caves because we're going to need a lot of andesite for what I've got planned. So I'm going to dig here for a little bit and then head back upstairs. And I'm also just going to grab a few stone walls so we can kind of enclose the pathways. So I'm just going to go around the side and dig some more holes. And then that way it just opens up some space for some additional blocks. Okay, let's start by putting the gravel in. Yeah, I find that the gravel is a very similar colour to the stone, so it blends in really nicely. That's not all, though. I do want to get some cobblestone in here too. In fact, we should probably craft some slabs and stairs of this. Okay, yeah, let's replace some of these slabs. Maybe we don't want these stairs looking super even either. Maybe do something like that. Make them look kind of rustic. Okay, now I'm just going to take some walls and just go around the side here. But I don't want these walls just sticking out of the side of the path. So I think I'll just put some andesite underneath them. And then for some finishing touches, if I can just go around the side here, add some oak leaves. Gives it a little bit of an overgrown feeling. Might look a little bit out of place, but I think it'll work. As long as we use them sparingly. I just find it's good for fleshing the corners out here where there's a lot of dead space. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. I just realised I've not fed the cows for quite a while. Afternoon, ladies. How are we doing? Good to see we're still cramming. How much leather we got? 40. We're almost at the amount to have an enchanting station, I think. I'm pretty sure that's 45. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, I'm excited to get all this turned into stone soon. I think I'm going to continue this path to the house. I do want to put something in the centre of the village later on, but until I'm sure what that is, I think it would make sense to have a path just going around here. Maybe it's a small one. Yeah, let's start digging this up. Okay, and again, I'm just going to start with the stone bricks. And then we can shape it how we want to after that. Yeah, this is not going to be as wide as the other one. At least not at this section here. Well, I suppose we could bring it out like that. And then we're going to want to curve it up here. Oh, that was our last stone brick as well. I really need to clear my inventory. This thing's a mess. Okay, I'm just going to dump it all in here. All right, I think now's a good time to start getting some cobblestone in here. Oh, but we do need to... Okay, this needs to come up. I'm going to get rid of this gravel too. Yeah, I like how we've already got a little bit of a natural curve here. This is making things a lot easier. Okay, let's get the cobblestone in. Some gravel. And then I'm just going to go around again, place a few walls, and we'll fill the blocks in underneath. I suppose we're also going to have a path branching off there to the blacksmith too. So I'll leave a little space here for now. I think we need to tidy this up as well. This really should be dirt. It's starting to blend with the path now and look a little bit confusing. Let's take these out. And we can knock these in and just fill the rest in with dirt and cover this up. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot less confusing to look at now. Let's grab some leaves as well from around here. Pop you there, there, and there. Some on this side as well. Again, we're going to leave that part open. And we're probably going to leave this part open as well. We'll ignore that for now. Okay, I'm just going to bring this part forward a little bit. Have a nice little passage down like that. Whoa! Not again! Oi! Is he going for the sheep? Bruh. We need to be careful of those guys. Oh, this is looking so much better. Look at that. Maybe got a little bit too much stone brick in here, though. I'm going to mess it up a little bit. Maybe get some gravel in there. Another detail I like to do on corners is to just add things like barrels. Just makes the area look a little bit more lived in, you know? I'm going to put one of you there. Something like that. And the one up top, maybe. Maybe we just like a small pile of them here. Yeah, just a little bit of variety, although these two look funny together. Let's move you and put you there instead. Yeah, that's right. I've built you a fort. Mm-hmm. Feel safe yet? And a nice path. Whoopie up. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Never mind. Now, I've just noticed this whole time. The cleric is still missing. Where's that guy gone? Got the farmer over there. He's happy. I wouldn't call that guy happy, but at least he's there. And we're still missing a villager. I hope he's okay. That's like the one villager I actually like. Although I feel a bit mean. The farmer, he stays out of trouble. Yeah, weird. I'm going to leave his campsite alone for now. In case he comes back in the night. But all in all, I would say that's a pretty successful build. And we've got a nice template for a path going, which we can replicate throughout the whole village soon. I feel like it's really given a nice upgrade of the place. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, hopefully the villagers are feeling a little bit safe for now. And hopefully I can get a good night's rest without any bad dreams. I can't believe our cleric friend still isn't back. He's been gone for weeks at this point. 
We haven't really had any new faces arrive lately either. I don't know. This village is starting to feel a bit off. I'm still having bad dreams, but I'm going to try and go to sleep. Another bad night's sleep. What on earth were those rumbles last night? Still no cleric. Hmm, starting to worry about that guy. Looks like the farmer's okay. Wait, why is the blacksmith not working? Hello? Have we lost another villager? That's two of them gone. I'm going to have to speak to the farmer about this. This is getting too weird. Do you have any idea why people just keep disappearing from the village? Save them from what? What is this guy talking about? I'm going to continue fortifying and upgrading the village. Then they'll see that safe and then come live here again. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's keep making this village the best possible place to live. I think it's time to start getting serious. I'm going to do something that I should have done a long time ago. I'm going to find all the diamonds I can. Upgrade my armor, upgrade my weapons, build a proper enchanting station. Then I'll be able to defend this village from anything. Okay, I'm going to start digging this way. Ooh, nice. Got some already. Yeah, I'm just going to keep digging on this level for a little while. See what we can get. Oh, hello. Looking like our lucky death. Come on, give us four. Give us five. All right, I'll take four. Oh, hello. What we got? Got two. Six. <gasps> nice, we've got an eight. Oh, we got a nine. I'll take it. Thank you. Well, I've been down there for some time, but I would say all in all, that was a pretty successful trip. I think it's best I just go to bed and then we'll make the tools in the morning. Right, it's time to get down to business today. I'm going to start by feeding the cows first, though. We need as much leather as we can get. Morning, ladies. How are we doing? There you go. I've got lovely wheat for you. How much leather are we on? Okay, this ain't too bad. I've got another couple of stacks in the box as well. I'm just going to stick these in the furnaces for... Oh. Okay, yeah, I forgot we got rid of those. I'm just going to borrow the blacksmith's furnace for now. Pop you in there. Okay, so I want to build two things today. I want to build a nice enchanting station area. And I want to build a library to house all the extra books and knowledge. And I'm just trying to think where each of those are going to go. Fairly sure I want something to go over here, which will mean removing this hill finally. In fact, let's, yeah, let's start with that. Let's clear the land out. And then we can decide where the other building's going to go. This shouldn't take too long, though. Get rid of these ones. Quite excited for this. Been wanting to remove this hill for quite a while now. Let's get rid of these ones here at the back. I wish I knew why the villagers were all acting so strange all of a sudden. Everything seemed to be going so well a few weeks ago. I think when the blacksmith returns, I'm going to ask him where he came from. I can only assume the cloak's from the same village as me, as he's the one who nursed me back to health. I just wish I had more memories of what happened before I blacked out. He claims somebody attacked, but I don't remember any of that. I'm kind of taking his word for it. All right, there's all the trees gone. Well, let me just get rid of this last one here. Okay, I'm going to start to pull this hill down now. I'm going to start from the top, go layer by layer. This shouldn't take too long. There's not too many levels here. Okay, how are we looking? Yep, much better. Let's just sort these last two ones out. It looks like the crops are going to be exposed on this side of the farm now, though, so we'll have to run a wall around the outside, I think. Shouldn't be too much trouble, though. I'm just going to grab all this stone from the ground as well. I'm wondering, does this have to come down one more layer? No, I think that'll be fine. Okay, let's get this filled in. There we go. Perfect. And I've just realised we're running around with these diamonds in our inventory. Let's do what I was supposed to do and make a proper set of armour. Okay, how much we got left over? we got 12 diamonds left over. Let me just get rid of those. Perfect. And I guess I'll just make one diamond pickaxe for now, but I'm not going to use it. I want to wait until we've got the enchantment station set up. It does look like it's getting dark, though, so I'm going to go to bed and we'll pick it up in the morning. That does look a little bit strange. I think I do want to actually knock it down just one more level. I'm going to knock these out so we can open up the path a little bit. Yeah, I think that's wide enough. I'm actually going to bring the dirt around the back here like this. Yeah, this is giving us a nice amount of space for an enchanting area. I guess I'm just going to leave the stone here for now, as I'm trying to stone all the paths up anywhere. Now, in my head, I already know what I want to do with this enchanting area. So I want to just start marking it out. I'm going to grab some leather and we'll make some bookshelves. I've been storing the leather in this box for now, so I'm just going to grab it all out of there. Oh, I just remembered we haven't been growing any sugar cane. Oh, we can't build the books yet. Okay, well, that's fine. I can go grab some of that. It won't take too long. And I'll just build the rest of the enchanting station while it's growing. Just need to find some local sugar cane. I can't believe I completely forgot about that. Okay, is there any down here? need two or three to be honest even one will do grows quick enough oh there we go finally 
That was a bit of a trek. All right, let's get these things home and start growing them. I'm just going to place them down here now. This is our closest little bit of water. Oh, was that more as well? Oh, we had some right next to the village the whole time. Let me go pick that up. Is there any more around here? Doesn't look like it, no. Yeah, I'll just keep checking back on them. All right, let's get back to the village. All right, I've been prepping a little project box, which should have all the materials we need for this build. The only thing I don't have, though, is some moss and some mossy cobblestone, which I really want because I want to make, like, an ancient kind of ruin build. So I guess we're going to go have to find a lush cave somewhere. And I think I know where one is, actually. Oh, yep, here we go. This is the place. I would love some glow like while we're down here as well, but I'm not sure how much of that we're going to find. Oh, there are some vines. Yeah, I'm going to smell some of this raw iron down and just grab some... Oh, wait, do we have any coal? No, we don't. We have wood, though. Yeah, I'm going to make some shears so we can grab these vines. Oh, there's glow like in there. Does this stuff grow with bone meal as well, I wonder? Okay, well, that's brilliant. Let me go get the shears. Craft you. Lovely. Perfect. That is perfect. Still going to grab the vines while we're here, though. Right, let's get some more moss and then head back upstairs. Oh, actually, while we're down here, the library I want to build is going to be made out of bricks. Might as well grab all this while we're here, too. Yeah, that's worked out really nice. I've had the glow lichen on the ground for quite a while here, and it doesn't seem like anything's happening, so I don't know how to grow this stuff. I'm assuming bone meal works, though. So I'm just going to grab all the seeds out of here, and then we can just chuck them in a composter. Okay, I've got ten. That should be enough. Okay, please work. Okay, brilliant. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Let me just go ahead and get these picked up. Okay, great. There's been quite a lot of time passed since I planted the sugar cane as well. I've already had a few trips. I'll go see how it's looking now. Oh, looks like it's all fully grown. Yeah, perfect. I think this should be enough, to be honest. I'm not going to make this any bigger. Let's grab the top two layers of it all. Okay, I got a couple stacks from that. Honestly, I don't know how much you need to make books, but I think we should be fine. I know we'll definitely have enough to make the full powered enchanting station, but I also want to build the library later as well. By the time we get to the library anyway, I'm sure it'll have just grown again. Yeah, let's make as much paper as we can. Lovely. Okay, I went and grabbed some birch wood. How many books can we make out of this? Um, hello? Oh, leather. I forgot about leather. Of course. Morning, ladies. Not actually here to kill you today. Okay, let's try that again. We got 46. I think that's just enough. I'm sure it was 65 or something, wasn't it? Oh, that was just enough. That's crazy. I'll take it. Thank you. I want to be careful with where I put these because I know it's a bit of a pain to pick them back up without a silk touch. In fact, I'm just going to knock this out and get some more dirt down. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to mark out where I think the table's going to go first. So let's just say the table goes here in the center. I know it's a little bit off center, but it's fine. So the table goes there, which means bookshelves will come around here. Go all the way along to there and to there. Okay, so we've got our main shape in. Like I said, I want to make some type of ruins. So what I'm going to do is leave a two block gap. So come about here. I'm going to go one, two, three along like that. Yep, I'm going to mark that there. I'm going to do another one of those over here. Mark these out. I'm going to do another one at the back. I'm going to keep these smaller though. I'm just going to go one, two, one, two. And then let's say one here as well. Um, let's not have those even though. So maybe knock them back to there. And then each of these squares is going to represent some type of old broken down tower that we're going to raise up. They'll only be small, but I think it'll look nice once they're all in. Okay, then let's get these bookshelves in. If we go like that. Bring that along. Hope I'm doing this right. And I think... So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we'll bring it along on that side. And then maybe just bump those two up there. We don't want this looking super even. Inside there will be the enchanting station. We'll get that part done last. I just popped to bed because it was getting dark. But I think we're ready to go on this one now. Although coming around this side, I think maybe this needs to move along by one. Wait, where the other one? There it is. Yeah, let's do that instead. Okay, yeah, we should be ready for this. Let me grab the right materials that we need. Okay, I'm going to start off this tower here. I'm just going to knock the bottom layer out. Mark the moss in there so we don't get confused. 
I'm gonna grab some mossy cobblestone as well. Oh, we've not crafted any. Okay, let me do that real quick. Okay, let's plop a few of these in like that. I think I'm just gonna do one more level. And this one I want to start putting the coal stone in. Yeah, we'll do one more layer of that. And then we can start transitioning the granite in the top there. And this is why I've got the glow lichen as well. Because we can start just transitioning this a little bit easier like that. And then I want to get some upside down stairs like that. And just bring them all the way around. I will maybe just change this a little bit. Make it look a bit more broken. Could even take the corner bit out there. Get a few mossy cobble on top. Fill the rest of them with granite. And I think I'm just going to use walls for the rest. Yeah, I like that. It's going to look better once it's all blended in. Okay then, let's do another one. Let's start over here. Well, let me go bone mail a bunch of glow lichen as well. Going to need that. Okay, I only got an additional five, but to be honest, I don't think we'll need much more. Okay, let's get some mossy cobble down. And we can just fill the rest in with moss. I'm going to bring this one up again. Wait, what do we put on that level? It was coarse dirt, okay. And next level up was granite. And then if we want to put some glow lichen down like that. Just make a blend a bit better again. I kind of regret keeping this on the ground now. We should have raised it up one more. Everything else in the village is raised up. Nah, that'll be fine though. Not going to worry about it. Just want to go around the side here again. Get the stairs in. And then let's just knock some random ones out. Yeah, I think that's enough. And then I want to just raise this corner up. And maybe we can put a wall on there. Maybe a mossy cobble? No, it looks a bit weird, that. Let's just go with the wall. Okay, yeah, perfect. That works nicely with that. Mm, I'm wondering if we should maybe get some campfires in the middle of those things, so the smoke rising out of them. Let's try that. Okay, let's see how this would look. I'm just plop you there, and plop you there. Oh, yes. Okay, that's much better. Okay, let's build these last two towers up at the side here. These ones should be quite a bit easier. So we've got moss, moss, cobblestone, coarse dirt. And how are we going to do the stairs? I think they're maybe just like this. Yeah, there we go. Then we can have a wall there. That should be enough, honestly. Then let's just blend this a little bit better. So we've got cobblestone. Yeah, we can maybe put moss there as well. Maybe another mossy there. Should put some walls in. Oh, we can also do mossy cobblestone walls. I forgot about them. Yeah, the skinnier ones look a bit strange, but I'm just going to roll with it, to be honest. It's meant to look strange. Okay, we got the moss, the mossy cobble, the coarse dirt. I'll bring this up one more. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that quite a lot. Definitely gives the mystical vibes I was going for. And since I kind of regret not building this on an incline, I'm actually going to have the ground raise up, and then the enchantment stage can be in the ground underneath it. So I'm just going to go around and bury this in first. Yeah, have it kind of come around like that so it's circular. And then that just allows me to go around and conceal it. Put some dirt in the back. Maybe knock those out. And then we can look at getting some mossy cobblestone in there. I'm going to go around with some slabs afterwards to kind of clean it all up. Kind of losing the circular feel in there though. Let me get rid of this corner. Okay, and if we can grab some granite slabs. We can maybe drop that down like that. Okay, there we go. It's already looking much better. I just want to continue the stone around here, I think. Maybe time to grab the andesite out the box. Okay, let's bring that up here. Plop you on there and there. Maybe some around the side there. Okay, perfect. Maybe we need some stairs as well, actually. Get some different shapes in there. Get one in there. Maybe one in there. And I think maybe just some cobblestone slabs to round it all off. Let's put those up here. Maybe some on there. I do like leaving some of these bookshelves exposed though. I think that gives quite a nice effect. Get that filled in more. Maybe put some granite slabs down as well. Now I've just went to grab some shears to pick these bits of grass up and transfer them over. Maybe grab some leaves while we're at it too. Okay, we can put these on the bits of moss down here like that. Maybe coarse dirt too. Lovely. And then if we just chuck a few leaves in. Put one there. I'm gonna be super sparing with this. Maybe just wrap them around the corners there like that. I think maybe one there. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I do want to just knock this out here though. And replace with cobblestone. I'm thinking maybe the same here. There seems to be a lot of andesite on this part. Right, can I extend the path out? 
Get rid of all this rubbish. And then we get some gravel down as well. Ooh, and a little bit of cobblestone. Yeah, this is looking really nice. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do here, though. Maybe just some stairs. Maybe not stone brick. It's going to look a bit too clean. Go with andesite. Maybe just go around like this. And then this part, I'm sure we just put some slabs down. Although, no, I think that's going to block the enchanting station. Okay, let's, um, let's bump this down by one. Get rid of these as well. I'm going to replace these with cobblestone, I think. Right, let's go make the enchanting table. Where did I put the diamonds? Have I lost them? Oh, I think I put them in the farmhouse, actually. Perfect. Go plop it in the middle. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. I really like that. I really like how that just sits in the center. Yeah, perfect. That makes me feel a little bit less guilty about not building this on a ramp. All right, wonderful. Let me go grab the lapis and we'll get enchanting. Right, moment of truth. After all this time, please give us something good. Efficiency 4. Oh, I'm not even level 30. Okay, well, that efficiency 4 is a good sign. Let me just run into the nether, mine some quartz, and I'll come back when I'm level 30. Oh, let's grab some gold boots. Oh, it looks like we might have to break into the new diamond pickaxe. I should have brought a bag of iron one with me. Okay, I can grab a little bit more. I don't mind breaking into the pickaxe a tiny bit. Okay, we're actually going through more of this pickaxe than I thought. Maybe we'll just make a fresh one, I suppose. Oh, level 30. Okay, brilliant. Let's go back. Okay, I really hope this is a good one. So I've only got enough for one. I'm going to make a brand new pickaxe as well. I want it as fresh as possible, I think. Fresh pickaxe acquired. Let's see what we get. Please, I just want unbreaking three. All I want, just unbreaking three. Oh. Okay, I've got some more levels. I've got a grindstone this time. Do to put there? Come on, and breaking. Ooh, yes, I'll take it. We could probably get away with one more, actually. Let me go grab the other pickaxe. Maybe we can roll a fortune. Okay, here we go. Fortune three. Oh, it actually happened. We are officially in the money. That is brilliant. That's going to be really handy for when I want to make a beacon, which is going to come up very soon. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious at this point, but I don't really want to rely on any overpowered farm. So if we're building a beacon, we're doing it legit. Going to go digging for that iron. All right, now that's sorted. I want to build a library in this place, but I'm not quite sure where to put this one. I did mention it a while ago, but we've kind of built ourselves into a corner here by just doing it all in a circle. I think the more obvious place to put it would be over here. It means we'd have to get rid of these trees and fill this land in, but it should work as a location. I wonder what that would look like. The only other option is up here where this rubble is. I don't really want to tuck it in behind this thing. So yeah, I think the right thing to do would be to just knock those trees back, flatten the land out, and we'll pop it over there. There's not really too many trees here either. I don't think this will take too long. Yeah, it's definitely enough space. Just need to go grab some dirt to fill the land in. Okay, I think I want it to be on this level here. I'm just going to bring this dirt around. Okay, so I've gone ahead and flattened the land off. To be honest, I think I've done a little bit too much, but it's fine, because once we build the library, I can just fill the rest in with trees. And I'm just trying to decide where exactly I want this thing to go. Now, obviously, I want it in this corner over here, but I just don't know which way it needs to face to look good in the village. I feel like we should build at the same orientation as the windmill, to be honest. You know what? I'm just going to grab some blocks to mark it out, and I'll see what it looks like. I do want, like, a front porch area on this. I'm going to go one, one, two, three, one. Is that right? Yep, then I'm going to come back by three. So one, two, three, come out one, then leave a gap for a window, pop you there. I'm going to go back by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to do the same on this side. So along by two, pop that in so there can be a wall there. And then one, two, three, four, five. You know what? No, I'm actually going to change this. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to move this over. I'm actually going to have the window on this side. So I'll pop you there, come forward by two, then in one. Is that right? No. Needs to go along by one more. Pop you there. And then along by two and in by one. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, that should work. How is that going to look from the house? Let me get a good view. You know, I'm not entirely sure if I'm sold on these leaves on the side of the path. Looks very busy, doesn't it? Might have to come back to that. Yeah, that'll work. Campfire is kind of obstructing it, but yeah, that'll work. I should already have everything. I just want some spruce wood, some dark oak, and some calcite for this one. Oh, and some bricks that we got from the cave earlier. I'm going to start pillaring up from the sides here. I'm going to go up by four. So one, two, three, four. Then that goes up by five. Do the same on this one. 
And then, yeah, it's going to leave us room for a window in the middle here. I'm going to do the same on the back here. And I suppose it makes sense if this is just the same height. Yeah, and I think on the fifth one here, I'm going to start running the roof trim along. Bring us out by one. It's going to look very similar to the roof that we have on there and there. Yeah, and there. Okay, so up by one each, then up by two. Up by two again. Wait, no, up by three. There we go. I did get this wrong. Okay, so yeah, we'll get rid of this one. And then plop three in the middle. Yeah, I think that's a nice size. We should probably get this joined up here. Brings out by one, go along, up by two. And then up by three. Just gonna repeat that on the other side here. Perfect. I'm gonna bring this along. And I think we'll just come out by one there. And that should be parallel with that. Okay, yeah, it looks it. Then we should be able to just repeat this now. Oh, looks like we left one in there. I'll have to grab that. Now I'm just going to run this along the back here. Should join up nicely. There we go. And let's just get rid of that little block. That shouldn't be there. I think we made the right choice having it face in this direction. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and fill all of this in with granite and brick now. I'm going to have a window in here, which should be that and that. And come along with the bricks there. This wall I'm just going to get filled in. I will put a window on the side. I've just not really chosen how to do it yet. Let's do the same around this side. Get those bricks in. Fill the rest of granite. And then just once more on the back. Hopefully we've got enough blocks. Just going to randomise all this. I think we've got enough. Oh, we're short. We're short by one block. No. Uh, okay, I'll get some more. In the roof, we want to just get a bunch of calcite and white wool in there. I've got a lot more calcite than I do white wool as well. So hopefully you don't have to spend loads here. I'm just going to see how far the calcite can get us first. Then we'll just fill the rest in with the white wool. And we just go around the side here. Looks like we're a little bit short on calcite. I'm just going to grab some more out of the chests. I only had nine more blocks, but I think it'll be enough because we're going to have to change some of these out for white wool anyway. Pop you in. Just like that. Whoa, this thing cuts quick. Yeah, it's looking good. I just want to get the dark oak trims in the top now. Where is all the moss going? How come we've only got five left? Okay, I'll have to use dark oak planks for now then. Bring you across like that. Then I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two. Yeah, okay. Actually get rid of that. One, two, one, two, and then that. Just want to add some stairs on the end here too, and then same on the front. Like that, and that. Just want to get the bricks in the front here. Actually wondering if it makes sense to knock those bricks back one. Then we're going to have this peeking out quite far. No, I'm going to keep it how it is. I'm just going to take these two barrels away, continue that spruce wood down to the bottom barrels here instead. Is that the first creeper we've seen in this place? I think it is, you know. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna have to go. Easy. Okay, let's get some trapdoors on there. Some upside down stairs. And then just this. Same thing we have same thing we have over there. Then we go trapdoor, trapdoor. Get up top. Trapdoor, trapdoor. Then we can plop you in there. Lovely. Okay, let's get the glass windows in. Looks like we had the perfect amount. You love to see it. Now it's gonna look a bit weird if we put a floor in here because we'll be level with the windows like that. So I think what we'll do is actually have stairs there which lead into the ground and we can put the spruce floor in down there. I think this will make a lot more sense on the inside. And that looks a little bit funky. I'm just going to bring that across like that. Probably just fill this back part in too. OK, 
Okay, well, I'll have to go make some more glass for these, but for now... Oh, God! Guy, give me a heart attack! Oh! God, I actually jumped out of my skin there. I didn't know what that was. I thought it was like a creeper beeline or something. Oh, scary stuff. Okay, let's get these put in. Nice little flower bed. With no flowers in yet. Okay, the outside is more or less done. Just want to put a chimney up there and then that's it. It's finished. Okay, I'm going to have to take this slowly because this mines through the calcite so quickly. Just go up from here, I suppose. Maybe put you there as well. Should be about the right height. And two more. Okay, perfect. I want to tidy the spruce up a little bit as well. It looks too clean. Let me go grab some oak wood. I've not got too many to work with, so I'm not going to go crazy. But I think if I just do that, plop one there, two there, one there. Now I'm actually going to put another one there. Oh, hello, B. Were you inside? He was inside. Yeah, it looks nice. This feels a bit blank, though, doesn't it? I'm wondering, do we have any dark oak stairs on us? Now let's make some. What would this look like? Put those there. And then maybe some dark oak signs could work. Okay, yeah. I like that. I need flowers in here. Don't really have any at the minute. Okay, I have very limited bookshelves, but I'm gonna try and make something work. Let's go like this. Oh, hello. Yep, this is the new library. What about some more in the corner here? We also have some red carpet we can just splatter around a little bit. Did also grab some extra little pots, things like that. We can just place down on the tables. I mean, I've only got two azalea bushes, but I suppose these can just be empty cups. Did grab a bunch of item frames, though, we can put on. Maybe hang some up. We could get a painting on there, actually. Let's put a lantern up there. Maybe another one there. Yes, yeah, hang one in the corner there. Okay, there you go. That looks cozy enough. Happy with that. Now we just need to make a pathway up here, which should be easy enough. I mean, just grab the shovel. Then I think we'll have a curve around here. And then we can just go down and follow the path that we've already got kind of shaped out towards the center. Okay, let's start bringing these across like this. We can get some slabs in there. Yeah, let's just start mixing these up. Get them on the side here too. Okay, I did just carry the path all the way along. I just want to see what it looks like from the house. Oh, yes. That's the one. Ah, uh, is it time to just get rid of that campsite? I mean, the cleric's still not back, but he's coming back. He's coming back at some point. I just feel like the fire is obstructing the, um, <laughs> the view of the library from here. And I wanted to have a good look at it. I don't want to be in his bad books when he gets home. But yeah, I'd say this has been really productive. We've managed to get the enchantment station built. Managed to build ourselves a library. We've got our upgraded tools. We've added more path in. Yeah, it's been a good one. But I must admit, after all that, I'm pretty tired. I know the sun's only just come up, but you know what? I'm heading to bed. Everyone's gone. We've lost the farmer. We've lost the blacksmith. The cleric still hasn't returned. We never had anybody show up to watch the library. Guard the watchtower or the enchantment station. It looks like we're all alone again. I only just got enough enchanted armor and tools to protect everyone too. But they've all taken off. I don't think we should stop now though. I think we need to keep trying to make this place even safer. Maybe they've only just gotten lost. I think what I want to do is get a beacon. Shine it bright in the sky. And then any lost villagers can return home safely. Once we've got that done, I'm also going to build a castle and put a wall around this whole place. To get a beacon though... We're going to have to go into the nether, so I'm going to start there first. I really didn't want to be in this place today, but I think we've got no other choice. Oh, I forgot to put gold boots on. Uh-oh, they're coming for me. I need to move. Can I make that? <laughs> Ooh. Maybe we can find some gold in the ground. Yeah, there's some. Is there anyone around here? No, I think it's safe to dig up, although they're going to come for me either way. At least we've got fortune on our picks now, so this should be a lot quicker. But we don't have any stone. I wonder... Can you make furnaces out of this stuff? Probably not. This is basalt, right? What about blackstone? Let's try this. I'm going to have to go grab some wood from the forest over there. Okay, I'm going to stack across. I think this is the best way to do it. I'm actually going to grab a few of these. Never know if we need them later. Okay, I really hope this works. I'm one short. Wait, am I one short? No, I'm not. Oh, it works. Nice. I suppose we can just use the planks, right? But you can't use planks. Okay. Is that a nether-specific wood deal? Please tell me you can use the stems at least. I suppose it would kind of make sense, right, if they were fireproof. No, you can't. Oh, we're quite away from the portal as well. What could we use? Oh, actually, we don't need the water. Let me grab one of these. Plop you in there. Oh. 
Wait a second, I'm confused. Oh, we don't even... Whoa. Whoa! So yeah, it turns out we don't even need to smell the skull down. And we should be able to do this. Okay. That's even easier. The only downside is we're not going to have feather falling anymore, which is a pretty scary thing not to have in the nether. I have no idea where I'm going. I think I'm just going to walk this way and hope for the best. Okay, it looks like we found a fortress. That really wasn't too far away. We just need to find some wither skellies and we're, we're pretty much good here. Maybe I should make this area safer first. Whoa. Shields up. Come on. We don't have any smite weapons. Oh, I thought we had one there. Just cool. Ooh, gold. Okay, thank you. It looks like there's a bunch of them up there. We should be able to do this safely. Come on, one at a time. You first. Okay, no head. Your turn. We do have... Ooh. Oh, we got one. Nice. Okay, two more to go. Right, let's make sure we get the looting sword on them. Okay, nothing but bones of that guy. Oh, what? No way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was insane. Whoa, he's got two back to back. That is, that is nuts. I've not seen that happen before. Whew. I made it back. A few close calls in there. Didn't like that. Okay, we've got the soul sand. We've got the wither skeleton skulls. I don't really want to fight this guy out in the open for obvious reasons. So I'm going to head back down to the mines and we'll just cheese him in a tunnel. You know what? I think this is probably low enough. We don't really want to go to deep slate level, I don't think. Maybe we do. I don't know how that works. We've got a tunnel here we can just go along. I don't have smite, but I don't think we should need it. Maybe we will do deep slate. I suppose if it takes them longer to break through it, we'll have more opportunity to hit them. Okay, I think this is low enough. Let me just dig this way for a little bit. I think this is far enough. Let me just dig a spot out here. We'll spawn them in. And then we'll fight them along this one and we'll turn left down there. I think it should be enough space. Ooh, diamonds. Nice. Thank you. How many was that? Oh, we got 16 from that. That's pretty cool. Wait, we got 19 from that. What? Okay, let's do it. Woo! We're withered. Got to see it through. It's halfway down. Come on. Oh, no. No. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought he flew off into the cave there. We're good. Oh, too easy. Right. Sorted? Sorted. Look at this go. Nether star, that's the one. Okay, we judged the tunnel quite well. In fact, we didn't. We we made it way too long. I think there's some obsidian down here, right? So we need three of these. Uh, if only the villagers could have seen me fight that guy. I'm pretty sure they would have felt quite safe after that. Right, let's head back up top. Make some glass. Then we should be good to get a beacon. Although we are going to need some more iron too. What's the best level for iron? Now, I know we've already got a bunch back at the house, but... I think I'm just going to dig for a little bit. I'm going to strip mine for a little bit. It'd be good to get some stone anywhere. Because we're going to have to build a wall around this whole place soon. Yeah, I'll just keep digging the iron ore. And we'll break it all before fortune later on. Oh, here's some. Nice. Yeah, this really shouldn't take too long with fortune. Oh, even more. Lovely. Ah, oh, looks like I broke into a cave here. Oh, some up there. Oh, is there some in the... Yeah, some in the water too. Nice. I didn't quite get a full stack, but it should definitely be enough. I think I'm just going to build it all up here, and then we'll fortune it on the way down. Although my inventory's a little bit full, but it's going to come to the ground with us either way, so it should be fine. Oh, maybe it's a good thing our farmer disappeared. It's been absolutely decimating those crops. I didn't even notice. Fortune 3. Let's see what we get. Oh, nice. We got like two and a bit stacks there. Okay, that should definitely be enough. Let's get these things smelted. Okay, looks like we need to go grab a bunch more coal as well. Okay, got all those smelting. Once that's done, we should be able to build a beacon. I just want to do a small one, kind of store it underground, and then build something pretty around it. And I think I'm going to do it here. Now, since our cleric's been gone for well over a month now, I think we can finally get rid of this campsite. Now, when he does finally return, if he's a little bit mad, there's plenty of places to sleep now. We've got a whole village. But yeah, I'm just gonna pick all this up and get rid of the campfire too and let's just fill this all in with dirt for now okay i'm gonna go grab the iron i'm trying to think how much we need i think we only need it'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we're gonna need nine blocks in total okay looks like we're sorted for iron so i think we can go ahead and make the beacon now right i think it's just like the yeah, there it is that's the one yeah i think this will be a good spot let me just dig this out real quick. Okay, I'm going to put the iron in like this. Pl 
pop you down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh. I was cleaning up the sky. Oh, I can hear birds again. Okay, hopefully any of the nearby villagers who've been lost will be able to see their way home now. We should decorate this. We should make this look really pretty. I think I maybe want to match it with this type of aesthetic. Have a nice overgrown ruin feel to it. Yeah, I'm going to grab some more moss, some granite, maybe some coarse dirt and mossy cobble. And then I think we should just get started. Okay, I think I'm just going to start by running some stairs along the sides here like this. We'll do the opposite on this side. Hopefully that curves. Yep, that curves around nicely. And then I think I want to maybe bring it outwards. I wonder if this would work. If I go like this. That on both sides. Maybe bring it up by two. If I do that as well. Connect them at the top. Ooh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's really cool. Yeah, let's do that on the other side. I think we'll repeat this bottom part on the top as well. Okay. We do from here. Okay, yeah, I'm really liking the base shape of this. Grab some other materials. Let's start messing this thing up. I'm gonna maybe replace this with cobblestone, mossy cobblestone. Like so. Maybe some down here as well. Yeah, let's put some more in the back here too. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe some at the top here too. Okay, maybe get some moss in the bottom here. Should we put one in there too? Might look a little bit odd, but I think we can work with it. I think it's some glow wagon in. What would it look like if we just knocked a few blocks out, actually? Have it kind of broken. I think we need to maybe add something down the bottom here. I'm just going to cut this out along the along the edges. Then I'm thinking of just running mossy cobble around the edges here. And I think I want to just go around and fill the edges with water here. I kind of wish we had more space to work with. I might knock this back a little bit and just put like some leaves around the side. Yeah, I do in fact want to knock this back just a little bit more. Spruce fences. Lock those in like that. Okay, yeah, I like that. That looks a lot better. Yeah, I'm really liking the look of that. I'm enjoying the mix of old buildings and new buildings in the area. Makes the place feel enchanted. So we've got our beacon ruin in there. Hopefully that's going to help the villagers come home. But when they do get home, I need to make sure that they're going to want to stay here. So the next thing I want to do is build a castle. Now, I've already kind of picked a spot out. I want to build it up there on the hill somewhere. And I also want to build it out of calcite and diorite, which means we're going to need to find quite a lot of resources. So I think it's time to dump all my stuff in the house and we'll go searching for some geodes. Yes, I knew there was one by the lush cave. Okay, let's get all this calcite dug out. In fact, I think I'll just remove all of the amethyst this first to get to it. Okay, I should be fine. Let's start digging. Oh wow, this stuff man so quick. Maybe this won't take too long. Okay, well that's been decimated. Right, on to the next one. Oh, no way. This thing's on a spawner. Let's get rid of you. Coming through. Ooh, bones. I'll take them. We got cat. Okay, we don't really need gunpowder. Take the string though. Okay, time to get digging. Okay, I think we should probably be sorted for calcite now. I'm going to dump all those in there. And then all I really need to finish it off would be diorite. Probably not as much as that. Maybe about half the amount. And a bunch of spruce wood as well. So I'm going to hop back down into the tunnels and see what I can dig up. Okay, I'm not sure how safe this place is, but we kind of hit the jackpot. We've got diorite everywhere. I've already been digging a little bit of it up. I'm probably going to continue here for a little while longer and then head back up top. Okay, that should see us through for the diorite. I think I just want to grab some spruce wood now, maybe a little bit of oak, and then I'd say we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to head to bed first. Oh, this thing looks really cool at night. Oh, oh, jump scare. We need to get to bed. <laughs> Burn. Burn. Still doesn't look like this thing's brought anybody home yet, but I believe it's, you know, it's early days. Okay, let's get a little bit of spruce wood and we should be ready to go. Oh, these new enchanted tools make things so much quicker. This is amazing. Kind of wish we'd done this earlier now. Okay, do this one last tree and that should be enough. Don't need loads of this stuff. Just a little bit. Now, where was the oak forest? I think it was... I think it was this way. We've not visited for a while. Okay, let's grab a few of these and be on our way. Now... I've already picked a spot out, and I wanted to make sure it was elevated nicely above the village. I did place this little block, of course, so we didn't lose track of where it was. So what I'm going to do is, just 
Just make sure it's five wide. Like that. And this would be the front door here. I would obviously have to build the landscape up a little bit first, but I think this should be a nice spot. So I'm just going to bring this along this side. One, two, three, four, five. And then along by three. Same on the other side. One, two, and three. And then I would like to go back by 13. 10, 11. Okay, that's great because I want it to actually sit within the mountainside here. So we have the walls coming up just the back. That's going to be brilliant. That's going to work. I want to do the same on this side. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. I'm going to just dig along here. See if, we look, see if we're all lined up. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we are going to have to remove all of the grass in between the sections. So I'll get started doing that. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, yeah, this should be a nice size. Let's go with this. So I just want to bring this up by nine initially. But I think what I'll do first of all is just do another layer of diorite. In fact, let's mark out what nine would be. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I just want to get another layer of diorite in here. And then we'll start building up with the calcite. The diorite can just be like a foundation block. Yeah, I'm just going to build up by three each time. The texture's going to look very sloppy to start with. So it's something we're going to have to come back over. I just want to get the shape of the wall in first. Oh yeah, I just came to look how it would look down by the village. And you can already see it kind of peeking through the trees there. That's going to look great once we get the second story on here. And then a roof on top of that as well. It's going to go quite high up. Okay, I want to start marking out the second floor of this thing. But to do that, I think it's probably best if we get the actual floor in first. Okay, that's all filled in. So I'm going to start marking out the walls for the second story here. I think I want to bring it along by one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How's that? Because I want to leave like a balcony area open. Yeah, I think that looks fine. We'll go with that. I'm going to bring it by five. So one, two, three, four. Now I want to follow a similar pattern that we've got here. So if it's go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I'm just going to run the outline along here again. Stack all these up. And we are going to have to put the bag in here as well. Okay, now I know there's going to be some windows in here. I'm only going to have to do logs on the outside because I want a window in the middle. Okay, let's get some stairs in here. Same on this one. Same on this one. Then we can run a granite wall down the middle. Now I'm going to put this down by one. Pop you there. Bring you up like that. Okay, now time for the roof. I'm just going to run deep slip bricks along the outside first. Get the first layer in. Now I'm going to go up by one. Just repeat the process. Now this time we want to go up by two. I'm just going to repeat this all the way around. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, going to repeat that. I'm going to do two again. I do have to admit, this castle's coming together a lot quicker than I thought it would. I was expecting to be spending a lot of time on this. Oh, we still have to do the interior, though. It's going to take a while. It's a little bit hard to see, but I did finish the top there, too. I'll get a better view of it in a second, because I do want to go up the sides and create some little towers on here. Take some calcites. Line this up so it's like that. Is that right? That looks centred. Yeah, let's bring this up. Now I actually want to cut inside of here, so it'll be from here, where we can see it. Bring that along. And then just go up like this. For the trim, I'm just going to take some deep slip brick stairs, pop them there. And I think I'm just going to go up by two on each corner here. Go up by two, and then up by three on these ones because I want to build some flags on there. Although if we're going to do flags let's make this taller. Let's plop a spot in for a window. Do we have any glass left on us? We do. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, that really works. Okay, I'm just going to grab some resources and repeat that on the other side.
Okay, they're both looking... Oh, I forgot to put the window in. Was it from there? One, two, three, four. I'll do. Yeah, they both look great. I think I'll just go grab the red wool now, actually, and we'll just put the flag straight on. Right, I'm just going to go with something simple here. So I'm going to go one, two. Let me just move the scaffold another way. Probably going to go along by that. And I think I'll bring it forward here. So if we go like that, make a little L shape, and then probably just put one there. I'm loving the shape. Yeah, I'm really loving the shape. Again, it's going to look even better once these trees are out of the way. Okay, let's do the next part. Okay, this part's going to be nice and easy. I just want to do an oak trim along here. I'm going to have to run some blocks along the bottom so we can get them facing the right way. Okay, yeah, I think I like how that looks. Yeah, I'm going to keep going with that. Okay, now that we've got the trim on the top floor, I want to try and do something similar here. And I have a little design in mind just like this with polished diorite. It's really simple pretty cheap and then we'll be just chuck some on the whoops chuck some on the top there and honestly i like it i think that will be enough i'm just going to repeat this all the way around here so again just slabs and then walls the sides are a little bit uneven but that's nothing to worry about i've added some basic texture in the walls but i think it's time we get a door in this thing then we're going to at least start framing the land around it find the middle point which is right here yep that's the one i'm just going to plop that there so I've got a plan for it a large way, but I need to know where I'm building to. I think it would stop. I think it'd be there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put one there. Bring this round. Another one there. Pop a slab on top. Now I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Pop a slab on there. And then we just go down here. I'm going to knock all this in. going to stack up some trapdoors on the inside here and get them all clicked and then maybe bring this down by one yeah that'll do i think that's right i think that looks good okay yeah i think it's time to get rid of these trees now they're getting well in the way kind of hard to tell which ones we want to get rid of because we want to frame it properly while we're down in the village but i suppose if we just remove a big section of them we can just plant any that we want back although i do want to go around the village fairly soon just so i can replace some of these birch trees with nice spruce trees and oak trees instead Yeah, that's looking much better now. I can kind of see where we have to come down with the dirt as well. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get straight on that, actually. Okay, I'm just going to start by filming little things like this. Now, I'm just going to drag a basic shape just down, and then we'll just build on it. I'm going to make sure it's got a nice curve in it. Are we at the bottom? Yeah, we are. Okay, yeah, this gives me something to work with. Let me just start widening all this out. We'll probably have to use quite a few slabs and stairs because it's fairly steep, but it should look nice. Then we want to bring it around, connect it with this, get it all linked up, looking natural. So I've got a fairly nice shape in. I'm just going around the edges now and making sure it slopes properly so we can get up. But so far, it's looking good. Right, I'm just going to start by taking the floor out. Then I'll replace it with spruce planks so it can match the ceiling. And instead of making one large room, I think I'm actually going to run these dividers down the middle here. And we'll split it up into three sections. So let's put another one here. Then I want to come to the middle of this and just take out five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Same on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Now I think I'm going to bring it up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's get these filled in. And I also just want to take the bottom parts out here and replace them with barrels. And then I just want to create an archway here. So we'd bring that out like that, that out like that. Bring this one all the way down to there. And if we just fill the rest in with planks, looks like we'll need to put some slabs in there too. And there we go. We can plop that there. And there we go. We got a nice archway. I did do it on this side as well. Maybe this should be awkward instead. I've got a lot of spruce here. Let me just chop all this out and see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, that actually looks much better. I went ahead and detailed the roof a little bit too, so it's not as flat. And for this room here, I feel like I just want to make a nice storage room. I've been living out of chest monsters in the house, and it, it's it's worked, but it's not really been efficient. So yeah, I think it's time we upgrade. I'm gonna put them there like that, and then I think what I'll do is I'll just pillar all the way to the top, and this will make some nice dividers so that we can stack some chests up. Okay, that's looking good. I think it makes sense if we just carry the same type of archway across then it'll look like some proper support beams going over the entire building 
yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we want trapdoor, slab, trapdoor, slab. And we want a slab on top. Like that. And before we put the chests in, I just want to run spruce wood across the back of the wall here. Otherwise, when we peer through the chest at the other side, it's going to look like a weird whitish colour through the middle. Doesn't look like we'll be able to do it here where the castle curves inwards, but that'll be fine. Okay, let's start putting these chests in. I think I want to have them back like that against the wall. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Let's just stack these up. How high can I reach? I think I can reach two more than that. Yeah, there you go. That works. Get all them in. And I think at the top, we can just do some stairs like that. And then bring it down. Yeah, that looks perfect. Although, we're going to have to fill this in as well. Otherwise, we're just going to get that weird gap through there. Yeah, there you go. Problem solved. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Got plenty storage. We've got the roof decorated. Some nice lighting. Whatever this is, looks all right. So yeah, I think we're ready to move on to this one now. And I brought some stairs with me because I just want to dedicate this room to a nice grand staircase going up to the top floor. I'm not quite sure how to judge this. I think I'm just going to do this. Okay, we want the next level up to be the top floor. Okay, so we need to bring it down from here, basically. That's going to be too long. That's not going to work. I'm going to try something else. Okay, that was extremely awkward, but I did get there in the end. It's got a nice staircase kind of wrapping around the center here. With the support beam going up the top. So that leads us nicely up to this section. This is in need of some decoration though. I'm just thinking maybe add some tables there. I would have to go get the clay from the house for some pots. Then perhaps we can put some paintings there. And probably just some paintings on the wall too actually. Yeah. Maybe some bookshelves. Yeah, I don't think it should I don't think it should be too hard. Yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do with this. What I ended up going with was a nice painting wall over there, because you know, everybody should have a painting wall. We've hung some tools up, put some paintings up, we've got some armor stands, bookshelves. Ooh, nice red carpet going all the way through the build. And then at the top here, the bedroom, I went ahead and just added a fireplace, a little changing room around the side with some storage, a nice bed, and yeah, that's it. Keeping that one nice and simple. And then we've got the nice view outside. I need to put a door on this of the whole village over there. So yeah, all in all, I would say I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's just exactly what I wanted it to do. And yeah, I think we can move on to the next thing now. Wah! Okay, now we're going to move on to the next thing. I'm starting to think this village is looking pretty secure, but anybody can just wander in through the forests. So I've been collecting a lot of stone, and I want to build a wall around this entire thing to enclose it all in. I don't think I have enough stone just yet, though. I'm going to go back into the mines and dig a bunch up, and then we'll get started. I don't need to go too deep for this one. I think we'll probably just continue this hole here. Okay, I'm just going to go until the silk touch pickaxe is almost broken. Probably repair it, do it again, and that should be enough. Okay, Unbreaking 3 actually came in super clutch there. I probably think this is enough. I don't think we're going to need any more than this. So yeah, I'm going to transfer this up to the top and we'll see what we can do. Just want a wall coming from both sides of the castle, coming around and connecting to each of these bills to lock everything in. I think for now, though, it's going to be easier if I just start down here. In fact, I'm going to run it around the back of the buildings and I'm going to make the, I'm going to make it five blocks high. I'm going to make it all out of stone first and I'll go back around texturing it and adding towers in once we've got the, once we've got the general shape in. So actually... I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run this along like this, so we can get the basic shape in. I'm just gonna take it around the back here, and then we're gonna want to start coming outwards, so we can get around the side of that castle. If we just do a diagonal this way, it should work. Okay, and then we can just have this going. I'll probably put that into about there. Okay, so that's one side done. We're gonna go back around to the other side and start just running it along here. Okay, we're gonna want this going around the left-hand side of the library, I think. This area's not actually as big as I thought. I don't think we're going to need any extra stone. Although I don't want to speak too early. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's bring it around the back side of the farm. We've got the ruins there as well, which we need to go around. And then we can just push this out towards the side of the castle here. Okay, that's the entire shape in. So one, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to make sure that I do five blocks on top of each one. So one, two, three, four, five. If it's a bit uneven, that's totally fine. Okay, yeah, and I'm just going to go around the whole thing just like this. Is that going to be a good size? Yeah, I think that'll be perfect. I'm just going to continue this until each part of the wall is five blocks high. 
Okay, so the general wall shape is in, and I kind of like it. I think it looks good. What I want to do, though, is just run a cobblestone foundation along the bottom. Maybe put some stone bricks inside the center part. And then I think we'll just put some slabs, some stairs on the top. Kind of make it look similar to that effect up there. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to just start here. I'm going to replace all the bottom blocks. And then I'll just run back along with cobblestone. So I've went ahead and just put a bunch of random details in the wall after the cobblestone foundation. And even though I was just going to go for something different, I've decided instead that I would just like to run smooth stone slabs across the top. And then we'll just repeat this around the whole village. Okay, I'm loving how this looks. But we've got a few gaps like here and here. Maybe there's some up here as well. I think what I'm going to do is add small towers, just little three by threes, just to try and bulk the wall out a little bit in those empty spots. Just going to keep it nice and simple. So we'll come up here. This will then come out. Not really sure how high I'm going to make this. Uh, I think this will probably be enough. Put trapdoors here and here. Put it on this side. Then I'm just going to build this up. Nice and simple. Place some walls down. Perhaps get rid of that one. Place a wall there. And done. Yeah, I really like how that looks. I've just dotted a few around the village. And I think it really brings the wall to life. I've removed the trees from here so we can see this one a bit better. But I think that takes me on to the next step. So there's all these little blank spaces around the village, like here, where we haven't really had anything to build in it. Same with this hill. This hill's really empty right now and looking quite bare. So what I want to do, I want to just run some stone foundations around the side of it here. Decorate it a little bit with andesite. I'm going to chuck some stone ones in there too. And I'm just going to clear all this out in the middle. And I'm just going to break a bunch of random holes in the middle. This shovel digs so quick. I'm just going to get this all filled up with water and then start hauling the area. And then it's time to just go around, fill all this in. And I'm just going to do this in the entire village to cover up all the little blank spaces we've got. I could not be happy with this place. We got all the wheat fields in, put some extra bushes around, got rid of all those trees so we can see the walls properly. And yeah, I think this place is, um, I think it's amazing. Now the villagers have to come back. Once to see how safe the castle is, how much food we've got, and how safe we are for Beacon. I don't think there's anywhere they can deny that this is a good place to live now. I'm going to go up to our new home, go to sleep. I'm feeling pretty confident that when we wake up in the morning, everything's going to be fine again. Oh, what's going on? Is that a storm outside? Wait. Is that the cleric? The cleric's back. Okay, I gotta get down there. What are you doing out here? Do you think the village is safe now? What? No, you, you're wrong. Stop saying that. No, I said stop it. No, I won't accept it. No, you're lying. I need to get out. I don't know what type of tricks he's trying to play on me, but it's not going to work. I'm not falling for this. It's not true. It can't be true. Please say it's not true. I wouldn't do that. That's not me. It can't be real. No, it's not real. It's not true. It's not true. Not true. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed. Everything's gonna be fine in the morning. Everything's okay. Oh. What's going on? And what is this place? What? I wouldn't let somebody destroy my home. And what am I supposed to do now?